newspaper. Well, Jeremy Biceps Maloney passed away last <laughs> week. <laughs> By the way, your next D&D character, <laughs> Biceps Maloney. Are we, disconnected. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Hey, hey. hey everybody. Hey. So I gotta turn on the volume. Hello, Jeremy. Sorry, we're a little hey. bit late. Uh, there was um, a Every. slight confusion and uh, setup that required extra time. Okay, Zelda came out today. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> I'm weak. I was referring to your illness and having to go get something. No, but but sure, it. we'll blame it on Zelda. I was Zelda. trying to blame it on Zelda. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Zelda or Strep, and you chose Zelda. I don't have Strep. Anyways, Friday night, Clockwork and Constructor, Fifth mono. Edition D&D campaign. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm the DM going around the table. I'm Brian. I play uh, Gedrick the Half-Elf Sorcerer. I'm Andrew, and I play Ivan the Human Artificer. I am Mitch, and I play Asenkroft, the half-breed fighter. I'm Cassie, and I play Nadia, the human monk. I'm Aaron, and I play Finley, the uh, halfling barbarian. Boo, hiss. And that's the wizard. <laughs> that's wizard is impressed. Wizard. You all got your names right. Can you start at I this side one time? It, it's a bad influence. We want to go first. You'll be hanging around with that Greg fellow. He's a bad I do. influence. <laughs> Alright, uh, you want to catch us up to speed on what happened last time? Yeah, so we are still stopped halfway on our quest f to the uh, Redwood for a fairly important figure by the name of Siegfried Van. Um, yep. On our way, we stopped in the town called Oxboro, where there was some strange stuff going on. Um, we've been investigating the murder of the mayor with our new found, new found friend, Finley. Finley. And um, we've been spending a couple episodes doing this now, so... We've been looking through the town based upon these religious symbols that have been carved into the buildings basically all around town. There's five notable different symbols and they all relate to different gods. We ended up making contact with one of the symbols, specifically the rising sun, yep. which turned out to be the church of Gera. Um, there was a trial by combat and they asked us a bunch of questions before being willing to open up to us and tell them some information that we wanted to know and they um, believe that it was indeed a murder and that one of the ch churches is indeed to blame. So last episode specifically, we started off after uh, some group tension arose and we kind of split our separate ways. So with that, our wizard, sorcerer, Brian, Gedrick, Gedrick focused on trying to get flour and figuring out some of his own stuff to prepare us for the quest ahead. The other team of Nadia, Ivan, and Finley managed to investigate the mayor's house a little bit yep. and um, discovered that there were some symbols around the mayor's house and actually got Finley into the mayor's home where <coughs> he was able to investigate his office and found a symbol for Vecna hidden inside of his desk, desk, desk I suppose, desk. yeah, desk drawer. desk drawer. And then I ran. And then he managed to escape, and there's no loose ends there whatsoever, and he is not going to get caught, and we are not going to be questioning on that in the slightest, because why would we? Um, it's not like I, I gave mean, my real, like name or real name or anything. That would just be stupid. Yeah, that would just be dumb. It's not like he's known around town. <laughs> As in Definitely not. took his time alone to try to investigate the Rusty Scabbard, where black, we heard... Black Scabbard. Black Scabbard. The black Scabbard. I thought it was Rusty Scabbard. No. No, you wanted it to be Rusty Scabbard. Are you serious? I actually thought it was. No, <laughs> the Black Scabbard. You wow, desperately you, wanted it you to can be. make up your own reality if you try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> so at the Black Scabbard, <laughs> um, as it crossed, started investigating and wanted to ask some questions to people around there because we had heard from Edward the Alchemist that it would be a good place and tales are often told. So while he was there, he asked questions he probably shouldn't have and yeah. threw a couple people off in the <laughs> midst of the partying of the night. It settled down for a while, he ended up leaving, and his precious Teradoc was nowhere to be found. Yeah, he so got, He got drunk and left his squire behind. <laughs> <laughs> different Parenting words, one different one. words. Yeah. <laughs> so he decided that the best route of action would be to search for Teradoc in a drunken stupor. The guards apprehended him, placed him in the drunk tank overnight, and when he was released, he was given a letter. When he was released, he was given a letter that... Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. When he was released, he was given a letter that said he is safe and go back to the Black Scabbard. Um, once he actually traveled back, he tried to question the person who was working out there at the time, who was giving no information. 
he showed him the letter, letter, which was written in a very specific script. And when the person was able to read that, he opened up a little and led him into the back room, which exited the building and went towards one of the other buildings that was nearby, which were all kind of fenced in together as part of this singular property. There were the rooms that they stayed in that day. Yeah, but it was like a tower, wasn't it? Kind of thing. It was like a row, row of... No, it's like a row of like separate buildings. Like hotel rooms. They're just like little bunk houses. Oh, I thought they were tall for some reason. But either way, so he was led to this room, and um, once they went inside, the person moved the bed and which showed Asencroft a trap door underneath. When Asencroft entered, the trap door was shut, the bed was slid on top, and he started traveling down the ladder, didn't he? He yeah. walking down Wasn't towards the door. door. Yeah, towards the door. Yeah. When he went to open the door, can see me. We <coughs> got left off yeah. here. So, uh, um, I'm gonna miss Asencroft. <laughs> Just don't <coughs> roll a one. Yeah, he didn't fall down the ladder, so he's already one step. Yeah, he's oh. <laughs> <laughs> not alone. Yeah, it's good. Wait, I was so gonna say he can also see in the, d- but he can't. <laughs> You're the only. I'm the only one. I have fire for that. <laughs> Remember how long it worked, worked the last time you could see? I seen can't the see. I survived. <laughs> I see too much. Uh, so yeah, um, having uh, shown him the letter, he took you to the uh, small bunkhouse out back where they uh, they rent rooms. Uh, he led you to the third one. Uh, showed you a trap door underneath the bed, uh, let you down into it, and then closed it behind you. Um, you currently find yourself at the bottom of this ladder. Um, you're standing in a um, fairly <coughs> small, for the, the size individual that you are, uh, dirt tunnel. Uh, you can see every once in a while there are uh, wooden braces uh, to support the structure. Um, and you also see, uh, at very uh, lengthy intervals, uh, torches that are along the uh, walking down this hallway, you do come to the end where there is this uh, very crude uh, wooden door. Okay, just to confirm, the symbol that we had seen outside of this establishment yeah. was of Magtherion, right? Yes. yes. Before I jumble words while I'm talking to someone or being assaulted. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just going to push through the door. Or I'll listen first. Okay, so you stop and listen at the door. Uh, make a perception check. Good to know, actually. 11? 11? Um, you stop and listen. Um, it's, it's tough to tell. You think you hear voices. It's hard to say whether they're right behind the door or somewhere farther on. Okay. I guess I'm going to open the door. Push forward. Okay. Uh, so you push forward and then um, you see uh, made very much the same way as the tunnel, um, all just dug out of dirt, um, is a larger room. Um, square in shape, um, it runs back probably 30 feet, um, about the same out to the sides. Um, a little brighter here, there's more torches around the side, but all just torchlight. Everything's fairly dim. Um, <coughs> you see uh, what appears to be some sort of raised uh, platform towards the back, two doors on either, a door on either side of it. Um, there's two round tables. Um, sitting off the corners of this raised platform, and then a, a large uh, <coughs> <coughs> sitting around these tables, you see uh, four or five individuals around each table, and then there's also five individuals sitting along the edge of this raised platform. Um, all of them are dressed in dark blacks or browns, uh, leather, um, lots of different straps and stuff. You can see uh, various. Um, knives and swords and other weapons on them. Um, fairly serious, a few people around the one table are actually playing cards, um, but it's very obvious they're waiting for you. The people uh, seated on the, uh, the raised platform are directly watching the room. Do I recognize any of them from the night previous? Uh, make, make an intelligence check. Disadvantage because I wasn't drunk or... Yeah. Eight. Eight. Nobody stands out. Okay. I guess I'm gonna slowly approach forward into the room. They're already looking at me. Okay. You walk forward. They seem fairly patient. They're 
just waiting. Uh, the guys playing cards kind of stop and look up. Start watching. How's it going? The individual, uh, second from the left, sitting on the platform, uh, gets up. Uh, tall, lean, fairly tough build. Um, you see a woman, uh, dressed much the same, uh, dark brown leathers, uh, very nicely made. Um, she has a row of uh, throwing darts, much like Ray Luce's down the side, and a short sword. Um, long auburn hair tied back and you can see uh, the points of elven ears. So, you uh, visited our place last night? Yeah, uh, I guess I got a little, little drunk and my squire managed to sneak away from me. Hmm. Forgot what was important. You are correct. I'm glad you guys kept him safe. Yes, well, we'll get to that. You're asking a lot of questions. Yeah, I'm new in town. Not really sure what's going on too much, so... Trying to get a feel for the locals, but nobody seems too friendly. Dangerous questions to be asking in this town, especially for someone new. I'm starting to realize that a little more. I don't know. I don't really understand the full, uh threat that's going on, I suppose. No, it doesn't appear that way, does it? Nope. I mean, I am glad to be able to talk to you guys, I guess, though. So, she indicates the bench in front of the platform. I'll take a seat. Thank you. Yeah. She takes a step back and just kind of leans back and rests against the raised platform. As I understand it, you're investigating the mayor's death. Yeah, to an extent. Why? Well, I mean, I'm not hired by anyone. It's more personal interest. I mean, I'm a half-breed. Where I come from, most people tend to look down on us. We don't really get treated like normal people, so when I hear of a murder and the potential of a religious group dealing with it, I don't know how much I believe. So I'd like to understand if, like, you know, you guys are just getting blamed for stuff that's not actually part of any of the religious groups in here, or if it was actually done by one of them. I mean, if I have the opportunity to prove that it wasn't done by anyone related to these groups, then hopefully it might make a little bit of a difference. So, you and your friends have no stake in this? I mean, there's a bounty, but that's about as deep as it goes. We all work for money when it comes down to it. A bounty. <coughs> Just working for the money, she announces into the room. You hear a couple chuckles. Oh, that's something that I can trust. So, you have questions couple, I suppose. I mean, first off, the name's Asencroft. Harper. Nice to meet you. Shake the hand. Shake the hand. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I've been able to look up some different symbols around the town and try to piece together what they mean, but... Outside of that, I haven't really heard much. I've made contact with one of the groups, but um, they told me they didn't really have that much information outside of it wasn't them, of course. I mean, that's what I expect anyone to say. Well, never anybody's fault, is it? Exactly. Um, I came to the tavern last night in the hopes that maybe I'd be able to talk to someone there and they'd have a story or something or some suspicions, but I guess I should have expected them to remain quiet because it's the nature of the town. Well, and what would lead you to us? Um, I s found a symbol of Magtherion in the front of the shop. Um, I spoke to someone, and he said that there might be stories told, the Black Scabbard. Well, it's lots of stories told. It doesn't necessarily mean that you'll find any answers. I don't have that many leads, so when someone says there might be stories told in a tavern, you know, you kind of go there. 
I associated the symbol that was on his the, the shop with the symbol that was on the tavern and assumed that he was trying to give me a single for signal for something a little deeper. She kind of glances over and gives a look. Uh, you can see uh, the guy at the end of the platform. Um, smaller guy, dark hair, kind of looks back. And almost like, you almost don't notice it, but gives a shrug. Looks back. So what you're telling me is that uh, you really don't know shit. Yeah. I'm not a threat. I mean, I just want to know what's going on. You obviously know enough to know that there's lots of different groups, lots, lots of different people struggling for whatever they can carve out of this carcass, but nobody ever, nobody ever really gains an advantage. You have to look at the bigger problems here, but who would benefit from this? Have you looked at his office? Well, um, I haven't been able to look at his office specifically, but we I was told by my party members that there might be some stuff on the outside. On the outside? Yeah, I was told that, no? We looked at Didn't Yeah, I thought you guys mentioned there was symbols <coughs> on the outside of the, the office. I think we talked about looking <coughs> around it for symbols, but we never... Or was it um, Gara that told me that? They made mention of the office. Uh, I think they told you to go have a look. Yeah. Garrett told us that he was in with the one group. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I'll reword that then. Um, I haven't taken a look in his office, but I've been uh, hinted towards the fact that he might be involved with Vecna. Yes, well, I think at uh, this point it's pretty well known that uh, the mayor's office is uh, a seat of power for the followers of Vecna. I don't know necessarily that the mayor was. Okay. So are you thinking that they might have tried to make a move to put one of their own in office? I don't see that it would matter. You have to understand how they work. They already had control. <coughs> but I mean, to have the face represent your beliefs a little more might only help push things quicker. But you have to think about who would benefit from you should look at the office. There's some interesting things in there. Okay. You have to remember with these things, though. It's more what you don't see than what you see. So, if you know what's going on in the town a little better than me, was there any controversy between one of the groups and the group of Vecna? Well, there's always tensions between the different groups. Vecna doesn't really get along with anybody. So there's nothing that stood out a little more than usual as of late? Or a policy he was trying to push that would affect one more than the others? No, nothing like that. Most of the most... All of the recent violence has been between uh, the followers of Bahamut and the followers of Gera. Do you think either of them could be involved? I don't rule out anything until I know the truth. It's reasonable. So, are there any suspicions you specifically have then between the groups? I mean, that's what I asked when I made contact with the others. As I said, they all want to be top dog around here. Nobody wants to continue living underground. They want control. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they were involved in this. Mm -hmm. You have to look at who it would benefit. Yeah, I guess I gotta try to find that out then. I don't have a idea as of yet. I mean, I'm just starting to understand what the group's names are, let alone what they stand for and what, you know, what importance they have within the town itself. All I can say is, uh, 
the longer this goes on, the worse it's going to get. Because of accusations or every action has a reaction. You can't do something without something else happening. You can't take an action without there being consequences. Something like this, this is serious. This can lead to very serious reactions. Mm -hmm. So if a solution isn't found, mm -hmm. and the people just keep blaming the religious folk, it could affect every single one of you. It could. But even deeper than that, the groups themselves, they won't sit around and allow this to hurt them in any way. Very true. See, but that makes me think that... I don't know. I don't have an answer. But that makes me think that Vecna would be involved. Because if there was to be some sort of uprising between the religious groups themselves to fight against any kind of accusations, couldn't couldn't they protect themselves by hiding behind the government, which would eventually weaken the other groups and allow them to take more power? I mean, I recognize they already have power because of their position, but... Hey, I didn't say it. Hmm. Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions until I have answers, but I guess that does seem worth investigating. I do appreciate the openness. Hey, the way I see it, I answered your questions. You owe me a favor. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, boy. I could owe so many favors. If I'm capable of doing it. You guys seem like a little bit more organized of a, an organization than me. <laughs> oh, relax. You're going to like it anyways. I want you to finish this. Okay. This goes on the way it is, there will be war. I don't want that. This town doesn't need that. Figure it out. Expose it. Make sure it doesn't come to that. But I'm holding you responsible for it. I'll do everything I can for that then. With regards to the group, are you the one in charge, I take it? They follow me. Well, the leader is generally the face of the group, so... I mean, I trust you. I trust the rest of them, I suppose. Not that my trust matters to you so much, but um, I don't think you guys would be involved if you want this to end. As long as you think you can trust me. Yeah. So far, at least. I mean, hopefully that doesn't change, I suppose. Let's hope. And then I'll try to put my hand out again. Shake your hand. She gives a loud whistle. Paradox! Out of one of the doors, uh, you see uh, it open. There's a guy standing there in the same dress. Uh, he kind of stands to the side, and Teradoc walks through. Um, as he walks through, he looks fine, looks pretty happy, just looking around, kind of like, got a bit of a strut on. He's dressed the same as they are. <laughs> and he's got a dagger at his side. He comes walking over and he walks out in front of the stage, kind of stops there beside you, turns and looks at Harper. All right, you remember what we talked about, kid? Mm. Nods. All right, buddy, I guess you've been taken care of, eh? Does he do anything to me? He doesn't even like Harper. chirp. Well, remember, you gotta say thanks. I'll put up my hand to salute. He stops and salutes. <laughs> Alright. Kind of gets a chuckle from the crowd. Harper just kind of. <laughs> Alright. Don't lose him again. Definitely not. Thanks for taking care of him. 
if I uh, want to try to get in contact with you again, is there any way I can do that? Maybe not here at this. Well, you can always come to the Black Scabbard. She looks over to the uh, the shorter gentleman who she looked at before. Um, he, oh great, goes over to the side, comes back, um, comes over and he places something in your hand. Uh, you look at it; it's a small round coin, um, and it's got a face on one side that you don't recognize. Uh, you look at the, you flip it over, and it has the scales with the sword etched into it. Show that in the right places. Thank you very much. No problem. <coughs> Alrighty, take care. Am I going to be uh, trapped under here by a bed? No. Okay. I'll grab Teradoc by the hand and start walking out. Okay. Uh, you start walking out, and then you hear from behind you. And, uh,. I guess I don't need to say anything as tried as uh, tell anybody where we are and everyone you know will die. <laughs> He'll just laugh. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> <laughs> well, off with you then. And I'll take off. Okay. You go back, open up the door, uh, follow the tunnel to the end. Um, when you go down to the end, uh, you see the trap door is still closed. I'll try to open it. You climb up the ladder. Um, you try to open it, and it just comes open a little bit, and clicks. It's, it's like, it, it comes up about a couple inches and bangs into the bed. Hmm. I'll push it open <laughs> three times, like knocking the door. So it knocks, and you hear the bed start to drag away. I'll put it down so it doesn't catch. Okay. Bed drags away. All Suddenly right. the door lifts on you. You can see the same guy standing there. So, still still got all your digits? Yeah, I made it out alive, so that's a good sign. Well, that's good. I'd hate to have to clean up the mess. He gives you a hand to help you out. I'll grab the hand. Lift you up there. Then I'll try to grab Teradoc. Turn around. Teradoc, pull him up. He puts the uh, trap door down and slides the bed back over it. Seems you guys took care of him, so gotta appreciate that. Yeah, well, it's a good kid. He goes over, motions for you to wait for a minute, opens up the door and just looks around for a second. Alright. We'll head through. Yeah. He closes and locks it up behind you and he heads back to the bar. Okay. I guess I'd kind of head through the bar and then start heading back for the, um, the end. Okay. Maybe start questioning Teradoc on the way. Are you okay? Are you sure they they took care of you? Nothing? You're not missing any fingers or feathers or... Beats. <laughs> Starts counting. Actually counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, all <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm bad at taking care of kids. I've never done this before. I kind of... Not in town, at least. Uh, I shouldn't drink when you're around, I guess. He reaches up and just pats you on the forearm. <laughs> well, as long as you don't hate me, I guess. That's a, nice, that's a nice little dagger. Teach you how to use that? <laughs> <laughs> you take six points. <laughs> just, just don't go stabbing Nadia. I don't know how long she'll put up with it. <laughs> <laughs> little pat him on the head. Keep walking. He kind of like pushes up into your hand. Twang doesn't sound so bad now, does it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> stab, 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 stab. I want him to shoot an arrow at me, please. Uh, hashtag shank, shank. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I guess I'd ask. So, is there anything you want to do before we head back to the end and look for the others? He chirps. So we could train, if you want to train, grab some food. Food? All right, and then I head somewhere. Try Are to get, you wearing your bag right now? Um, honestly, probably. You'd like. I don't know if it would all have candy in it you at like this point. like pulls out your bag. Wow. And then I'll open. I'll take it off for a second. Put it on the ground. Open it up. 
take three and grab some candy. Oh, take that candy too. Candy. <laughs> and then I'll put it back on. He starts eating it as you guys continue to walk. Oh. All right, then I just head back to the end. Okay. So you guys head back to the end. Um, at this point, uh, the three of you guys, where did we leave off? Yes. We were heading. We were back, like, I think. yeah, we were heading away. We had just gotten out of the manor, and we were. And he was like, back. "Let's go." Okay. So you guys are heading back to the end. Yeah, he was saying he'd tell us everything he found when we got back. <laughs> the one thing I found. <laughs> Yay! His memory got full. Right. Actually, you guys had already made it back to the end. I believe you'd all spent the night there after, because he was talking to you guys. Because it wasn't until the next day that Asimov woke up in the drug den. Um, it was the same day because I got back to the. Well, I think you ended up. I got back to the end, and, back and I was saying saying for Okay, so you guys all made it back the night before. You yeah. discussed your previous adventures. Sure. You stayed the night, got up the next morning. You spent the night in your room. Yeah, and I did. I messaged you. What's that? I messaged you what I did. Secret, 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 secrets. You should just say it. Okay. I killed Nadia. <laughs> in your room. <laughs> Yep, yeah. she's dead. Yeah. Magic missile. So you spend the night. Doing holes. <laughs> you spend the night working on that. Okay. Cool. Okay. How badly burnt is this room now? Well, it still has all the. No, you're in a new room. On a scale of one to Asimov. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half Asimov. <laughs> one quarter of an Asimov. Gonna have to change your name to Arsenkroft. Um. <laughs> yeah. So in the morning, you guys all get up. What are you doing? I'm heading down. Mm. I'd head down a little earlier. Wakey, wakey, wakey. A little earlier, that's not good. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sorry. Morning. Uh, I'd head down. Like, I get up a little <coughs> earlier and head down to the. Okay. So you just get something to eat, yeah. drink, cook it. Yeah. Head downstairs. Mm. Okay. So, what did we find out in there? Huh, I guess we'll sit down and talk about that. Um, well. Not a ton. I sort of panicked before I did any real investigation. Oh. Ran out, but um, it's like motion for you guys to like come, like tuck down and hush. I did find the symbol of a Vecna inside the desk, so those suspicions have been confirmed. It's about as much as I did. I can try and get back in. I did say that I'd be running the place and told the guards at the gate that um, I was done for the day. So short day. All you did was find. Another symbol. Yes. Sorry. Did, did anything else seem like off about the office? Well, there was there were burn marks. The place was in complete disarray. I mean, disarray makes sense. He was murdered. Yeah. The fire. But the burn marks were strange. I don't know if he was burned alive or if someone just sort of scorched the floor and spiked. That. Something along those lines. Actually, come to think <coughs> of it, do you know how he was murdered? No, they never really were specific about it. Hmm. That could probably give us a bit of information. I mean, a knife in the back's one thing, but if well, he's burned it at, that kind of says another. Mm hmm. Was there anything else I found? I don't really remember. You didn't stick around? No. Yeah. You went through the desk, you found some just like administrative documents, and then you found the symbol. Oh, okay. And then you took off because you heard voices. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Did you see anyone, like, suspicious? Not really. <laughs> well, I mean, Did you talk to anyone? For a moment. Ah. Well, I mean, there was this halfling in a suit wandering around saying he owned the place. But he likes to talk. I thought, you know, I that might lead him somewhere. Well, I'm sorry, I was a little bit nervous. I can't imagine why you'd be nervous walking into a place run by a suspicious religious organization where the mayor was just murdered on false pretenses. I feel a little bit less awful about it now when you put it that way. I don't understand you two. I really don't. Like I said, I can try to get back in, but I'd like to try and sneak someone else in with me next time. So maybe Ooh, I am stealthy. Yes, no, I... No, no, no. You meant no. Nah, you automatically just say no when I want to do well, uh, something. That's not. I wasn't trying to just say no specifically to you, but I didn't mean sneak as in being stealthy. Well, I mean, well. bring someone in with me, convince them to let me bring I'm someone else in. I'm a people person. That's not what I'm. I mean, someone larger, an intimidating, imposing figure. 
They, uh... You just <laughs> want Ivan. Just say Ivan. I, no, I don't want Ivan. I, I mean, I'd, he'd probably be helpful, but I meant more like Azengroth. And I wouldn't be helpful? <laughs> you, maybe, but not in the way I'm hoping for. They, I'm hoping I don't get attacked because I have a big person in there with me when I ask the wrong questions. <laughs> well, uh, I mean... I, don't, I doubt they'll let me bring all uh, of you in. I would be a good bodyguard. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen you fight. You want to train? No. I can show you some moves. Oh my god. No, it'll <clears> be <throat> great. Dodging uh, is the best thing. Gedrick, he's a <laughs> professional though. Except with giant, like, huge spear, like, uh, no. But he can dodge a punch. I think it was a scorpigator. Yeah. Scorp uh, what now? <laughs> Scorpion alligator. That sounds horrible. <laughs> That's not something I'd ever want to see. I wouldn't want to see it again. Oh, again. Good. You wouldn't. <laughs> anyway. Um, I never saw it. I mean, if you needed to get someone in there, yeah. and they think you work there, I mean, if they do, like, they're running a lot of well, tech around here. Mm hmm. Maybe something's going wrong with it in there. Oh, that's very... Maybe you need an engineer. That's true. I do. I did say I was going to be overseeing the staff and whatnot. I could s suggest a change in employment. I don't know. We'll see what I could do. I do have more of this lovely metallic potion of awesome... I don't really have words for it, but it... And you just did. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they already think you work there, you may not need to use another dose, right? That's very true. You walk, you walk in once, it's less strange if you're walking again. That's it's very true. Maybe it's something that works another way and don't find you incredibly suspicious now. Indeed. Well, perhaps we wait for Azencroft then. I'll try and bring you and him in. You for the engineering purposes and him for the Yeah, know, Gedrick and I will just sit out together. That's, you know, we like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost so sad like, knowing what I know. Tell you what, if um, if if you see a bright light of something come flying up into the air, we, we need help pretty badly. If you want, to yes. watch. Although I probably should have said something as I left to someone more than the guards at the gate. Come to think of it, but. <laughs> then, hmm. I guess, I guess if we know he's in with Vecna, I could go talk to that shopkeeper again too. Perhaps, but I don't think he's going to give us much. He didn't give us anything at all. Maybe hmm. we just got to be a little more direct. Ooh, time for action! I like this plan better. No, what, what, like what, direct what, contact? What, like, no, I, but. I'm not planning no. to hit anyone. You need answers. Answers. Not pictures on things. Answers. Yes. Are you, are you going to... You're, you're going to beat him up? Don't punch the no. answers out of him, please. That is not the solution. Uh, I never resort to violence. I've seen you resort to violence. Sometimes I get carried away. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, is there anything we need to do while we wait for Asencroft? Is he not here? Uh, has anyone seen him yet? When was the last time we saw him? We also haven't seen Gedrick in a while. I believe he was heading to... Did, what, did you say where you were going? Oh, I don't uh, think we've seen him since we all split up. I don't uh, think we've seen anybody else since we split up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Three musketeers. Do we wait around? Uh, oh, I guess we're not. I doubt anything's open yet anyway. We're just sitting around. Hmm. Oh, I know he wanted to check out the cedar areas, but I don't know if he went and did that yesterday. Well, we'll give it till, uh, what do you say, lunch, and then... Sure. I'm sure we could set up. Oh, also, I do believe I, I said yesterday when I came to the profits from the dress, I did say I would give you a bit more of the profits, and I'll just hand you five gold. Oh, that's... Hmm. Oh. You are my benefactor. You deserve a little bit more. That, that, all right. His arm is humming in excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gotta haven't had a good chance to work on this lately. Oh, no worries. 
Yeah. So you guys are waiting uh, until a little afternoon to head out. Yep. yep. Uh, are you doing anything? Hanging out there, avoiding them. No, I'm waiting for them. Like I'm, I went down to like wait for them. Oh, I assumed that you were changing yourself. No, no, no. Okay, sorry. So yeah, well, you guys are down there, Edric. Right? So. Oh, we were wondering. I was gonna say. I thought you guys. I thought they were talking in the room. To be no, honest. no, no. We went into a table. We went and sat. We've been that, eating that's breakfast. That's my fault. I thought you were saying that you. Changed I assumed he was so still doing the same thing. Okay, so yes, Edric has been sitting quietly at the table with you guys. You know where I am, do you, Nadia? <laughs> oh, there you are. You've been awful quiet lately. Yeah, it's well. You know. Didn't uh, didn't see you much yesterday. No, I uh, headed to the mayor's office myself. Oh. Didn't, didn't enter because I had, a, I had a plan to get in, but uh, I guess that's... Well, I mean, more eyes is... Yeah, if still... I pick up some clothes, I can just... I have seen a couple people in and there, so I can just... Am I the only one not going in? Yeah, maybe you can go in with him. I, I, I don't know. Yes, I'm sure. You think? Ketra can probably get you in. I don't... I can't change her face. What's wrong with my face? It looks like you are not somebody who works there. Unless you've been moonlighting at the mayor's office. <laughs> oh, you're a follower of now. Did they kill the mayor? Ah! <gasps> I will wait outside. See, none of these, none of these religious types answer any questions. <laughs> well, what, what, what do you need in the way of? Uh, what What was the clothing that like people there generally? Wore? Uh, it was pretty like weather worn clothing. Obviously, the idea that he travels a lot. Mm-hmm. Like um, that was that was the cure, curry, but I think I saw some other people come in and out. Uh, and you saw you saw a few other people, but they looked more looked more like um, uh, either politicians or like aristocracy of the city. Fair enough. Um, the courier was the only one you saw that looked generally like they worked there as opposed to somebody on business there. Right, so I, I dis- described the duster and stuff. I don't imagine that's too hard to find, but I mean, you're going to have to beat it up a little if you want it to look like you've been wearing it a while, of course. That's true. And that being said, if I just get one and I show up there with his face, you mean, yeah, I mean, oh, I did good this week and Man. Yeah, bought yeah. myself a new duster. Oh, man, can't get a new coat, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, well, I mean, I'm sure Finley knows where there's a couple of shops around that can sell you a big coat. Right? Pardon me, sir? I'm, said, I'm sure there's a shop around here that can uh, sell him a nice coat. He yeah. can make also, one. I could also make one, yes. Uh, yes. It takes time, though, right? <laughs> Not that long. You good at working with leather? Oh, fair enough. It's, it's, he wants a leather coat. He wants a duster. He's a leather duster. Mm. Not outside of your realm. I just it's don't know my, what your exposure to it would be. It's not my forte, but I could perhaps make something. Anything is possible. Oh, the time. slightly yeah. disadvantaged. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's not the same as making armor. It's, it's not, not like You have to cure it to do yeah, certain hardness or anything, but it's not it is working with a, yeah. a slightly more difficult material. It's also not his favorite thing to work with. He likes like you know fabrics, silk, silk and you know cotton, fancy other and cloth. shiny things. Whoa, there's some very supple others. I could, yeah, I could do something. Well, I mean, one way or the other, he's got you covered. Problem is, I don't have a lot of coins, so you might have to purchase the materials yourself. Of course. He spent most of it on what I'm imagining is largely mercury. And something else. I'm still waiting for you to go madder than a hatter. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like instantly. <laughs> Change places. <laughs> we haven't actually seen you rage yet. That's gonna be a fun one. We're gonna think it's that. You did for like half a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's it finally happened. <laughs> Get him. Okay. Right. Yes. Spend some time discussing your plans for the morning. Um, as you sit around, just enjoying the morning, that they go away. Um, you do come back. Um, just just past noon, uh, right around the lunch hour, um, you make it back to the. Gotta give this little man some real food. So. So you go in. You walk into the area. 
Uh, there's nobody in here today, but you do see one table taken up by uh, your party. As I approach, I'd probably start thinking to myself, did I notice anyone on the walk dressed like Teradoc? <laughs> roll, uh, roll a perception check. Like, is this just outright religious garb? Fourteen. Fourteen? You didn't notice anybody else dressed like this. Hmm. But you also know that generally in your time here, the only people you've really seen wearing armor are the guards. Yeah. So you, you don't really see a lot of people armed walking around this town. There was the the other follower, the followers of Gera, but they kept it all concealed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd walk over to them. Okay. So you see, oh, you see them walk in. Um, Asin looks a little, a little worse for wear. Um, bags under his eyes. Um, Teradoc walks in, looking pretty chipper, almost skipping along. Wearing this very nice, like brown leather, dark brown leather. Uh, he's got a dagger strapped to his side. Well, where have you the... been? <laughs> Will you uh, on the town? Yeah, you could say that. You had a lot more fun than I did. Looks like it. Somehow managed to find himself a whole new set of clothes, though. So. Found himself? <laughs> I assumed you bought him that. Car! <laughs> he's uh, better at acquiring things than I thought. He he bought those, right? Or was Ask given? him. Do we have to leave town in a hurry? No, he's made friends, honestly. It's it quite impressive. I was thrown in the trunk tag, but that's less impressive. It's honestly <laughs> like it's it's some kind of surprise the first time. <laughs> it's kind of an impressive streak. Jaredoc hops up onto the chair beside Nadia, pulls out the dagger and digs it into the table. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Oh. Hey. Um, that Wait, the table. we gave him another weapon. <laughs> <That's> Fantastic. <laughs> and then he pulls it out. I will try my best to, like, cover just a chuckle. <laughs> I admire the enthusiasm, but try not to stab yeah, that's, a, that's a nice table. Yeah, it's... Uh, like, rubs his hand over the table. <laughs> Jeez, that's creepier. That's you might want to lock your door at night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's capable of. Finley, anymore. will you sleep on the door side of the bed? You know, just. I told you I'd sleep on the floor. <laughs> oh, all right. Floor side of the bed. <laughs> floor side of the bed. Trip them. <laughs> <laughs> Let him take care of himself. Oh, I'm not worried. He's so not going to hurt me. <laughs> you wound up in the drunk tank. He's got a knife now. Car. Dagger. Yeah. Sorry. He made some friends. <laughs> There are some nice people. I don't know if we should talk about it so much, and I'll kind of look around. <laughs> we'll look out. There's no one here. There's something cool. No one around. Oh. Did you find something? Well, this drink has been filled in like 30 minutes. I spent the night at a. It's gotta be that wall. new guy. Last night. You should wait in the morning. Met some people at the Black Scabbard. Spent oh. some time talking to some folks there. You did end up over there. Yeah. Um, wasn't getting that much information, but um. Perhaps we should have gone there a long time ago. Well, as I was looking around, Teradoc managed to disappear. I, uh, I started looking for him, and uh, guards took me to the drunk tank. When I left, I was no. given a little note that uh, they were taking care of him at the scabbard. And when I went back, I got to talk to some interesting folk who uh, had suited him up like this. Well, maybe you should lose your charge more often. They were some good people, so I guess no harm, no foul. You're lucky. <laughs> no harm to the foul. <laughs> uh, Is there any way that we can track him? Can you possibly get him to track him? Because he seems yeah, to get that's lost quite, a lot. Quite fortunate. Yeah, I probably shouldn't get drunk. Well, maybe. When I'm watching wow. The film. It's probably taken not. how many, you know, experiences for you to get to this point? Well, uh, well now he has a chance. Finley got himself uh, into a uh, bit of a uh, fun as well. Yes, I managed to get into the mayor's estate. And I found a symbol of uh, in the drawer. That's uh, about it. And then he left. Sort of scary. Yeah, just another symbol, and then that's hmm. it. The people I had spoken to told me um, that it was basically the Amelia Brighthammer of their crew. She talked to me and told me to uh, to look into the office. 
Oh, so I definitely do have to get back in there. Well, oh, our right. main question was uh, to try to contemplate who would gain from doing something. No. Well, makes so sense. But I mean, how many groups are in the city? Five. All right, we've got the Hobbit. Vecna, Vecna, Gera, Gera, Nerul, and the Ethereal. Nerul, right. What was Nerul symbol? Sickle, I believe. Nerul is a skull. skull with a sickle. That's it. That's all right. right. They, uh, Death. <laughs> didn't Gera say that it was unlikely that Nerul was involved? Yes, they did. I mean, and they said it might have been Bahamut. That's assuming we're going to just trust them. Or potentially, I believe they said Magnarion could be the blame. Uh, I don't think they put blame on Magnarion if I remember correctly. Uh, Gera did point to Magnarion as a po did they? possible culprit. Oh, okay. Also, you do remember Harper told you that um, the followers of Bahamut and the followers of Gera have been at war for a while. Yeah, I was supposed to bring that up. Um, well, when I spoke to Magnarion, they pointed. The th they weren't really pointing fingers because they didn't want to give false information, but they stated that um, Gera and Bahamut are at a little bit of a war with tensions going on right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much we can trust our information towards one another. You think maybe it was followers of Bahamut we saw the other night then, going after the followers of Gera? Maybe. I don't know. I don't I'm know. not sure. If I it would make the most sense at anything. It's a potential. I couldn't really give you an answer on that. That's a fair point. Um, but what I kind of talked to, well, I guess I kind of came to a personal idea. She kept telling us to look at, um, look at the office. And she was saying that we have to consider the potential of if this doesn't get solved. Right? No, what happens, huh? She was saying that the blame would be put on the religious figures, like where like they have already blaming until action needs to be taken, hmm. and then who suffers? Pretty hmm. much all of the groups, right? It's a very fair assumption. Then, is it any other groups? It might not be, but in the same boat, if Vecna is already infiltrated into the government, then. Like they have control, in essence, regardless of who's mayor, they could potentially try to off one to incite a war in which they could protect their own interests because they work with the government, potentially eliminating the other ones. Maybe, I suppose. It's just an idea. But I think we need more to go on, but it's... Make themselves a red herring. A what? The obvious one that can't... It can be them. Well, red herring. It's a term. It's a false lead. I think I know it was one of the other ones trying to set up Vecna. I think they're all trying to set each other up. Honestly, there's no way unless we can absolutely find plan, proof yeah. of something that happened, an item, a weapon of some sort. We need to, to connect the body to one of these people, these groups. We have nothing. You mean Bahamut's going to blame Gara? Gara's going to blame Vahana. Vecna's going to blame Magtherion. Magtherion's going to blame Vecna. It's, it's how it's going to go. They're just going to keep blaming each other. We're going to walk around with no information. No. Well, like, there I didn't really blame anyone. I they actually made me promise that I would figure it out. Wait, you're in debt to someone else now. They gave me information, and they asked that I solve this, so there's not a war. Well, there goes my suggestion. <sighs> well, we're getting good with them. Maybe we, we can get your leg fixed. Well, they didn't tell me to not blame them. They told me to figure out what actually happened. Okay. I respect that. Like I said, um, we do have to get back in. I did have an idea we were discussing before you arrived. I'm going to try and bring you and Ivan in there with me. That way I won't no. run away. No, that's <laughs> what are you capable of? No, I'm just, <laughs> just saying, like, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to get him in. I'm going to what's he, what's, he, what's he do? He'll be the interrogator. For, for what? Just bring up. Did I not tell you how I got in? How did you well, get no, in? I, the I know, but I mean, you can. Well, I told the people, the guards at the gate, that I was going to be um, in charge of the staff. I Roll an intelligence check. To see if I remember. No. I'll just in general. To see if this is a bad idea. That's probably a horrible idea. Um, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Um, as you're kind of looking over Azen to 
determine like how that could work. Mm -hmm. You do see that he literally has a shovel strapped to his back. Groundskeeper, perhaps. I don't like you got here. Why are you still carrying that shovel around? It's a spear. Just because someone stabbed you with it doesn't make it a spear. <laughs> well, how about we do a, a taste test? We'll uh, stab you with a spear and then the shovel and we'll see which hurts more. Let's not stab <laughs> each other, please. <laughs> still one less time than you stab me on basically every day before. We're not this. going to stab each other. Or, no, he, thank here's you. my suggestion. And before I do it, I'd like to apologize to you for what I said earlier. It was not right. Um, yeah, I was hurt by something you said, and I shouldn't have lashed out like I did. I appreciate that. I mean, I was just kidding with you. Uh, I know, I thought but we knew by now that no one here judges each other based on what we do. I know, but I had recently been judged, and I feel like I acted poorly, and I'm sorry. We all do interesting things when we get put in those situations, so I can't say I don't understand. That being said, I'm sorry for this. Laborer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just start laughing. He didn't say, you know, groundskeeper, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's it's unfortunate, but. Yeah, well, we could try to bring you in as that. Uh, I was going to say he could be the Head engineer. Chef. Head chef. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Isn't this what rich, fancy folk do when they're trying to act all posh? No. no? I'm <laughs> all. You serious? No. That's, I, that's see, why I, you got a shovel strapped to your back. How did you go from this to this? <laughs> I was pretty much, I don't know. I'm not a rich folk. <laughs> Sometimes, as I think you think that washing your hands before you eat counts as fancy. Do these hands look fancy to you? They look filthy to me. <laughs> what, what, what? They're all sparkly. You're, it feels like somebody playing that, that like hand slapping game, all of a sudden your hands are just like, and they're just clean. <laughs> A little bit go. sore and red in the middle, but <laughs> clean. I will bet you never knew you had those lines in there that weren't filled with dirt. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have scales on my hands. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it's very right. uh, um, What do you think of this? Do you think it's a good idea? That's not a bad one. Um, if now I was going to do this myself, but if we're getting into the place, I don't. I mean, you can talk to people pretty good, Gedrick, and you're, you're kind of scary when you get mad, Nadia. Okay. Why don't you guys go talk to that halfling? He had the marker back now outside. Maybe say, I don't know, something's changed. Try and get some answers from him. Wait, who is this guy? I think he's talking to this anybody yeah. that has to do with Vecna. He's talking about the, 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 the one who worked the leather armor. Oh, the one that I, like... Was mean to, kind of. You were mean to him? Wait, to ever I don't remember you the being weapon to. master one? No, no. I, I got all the straps. It was a, from it was a halfling. Oh. Ran the leather armor shop. He got all the straps from him. Yeah, and if you're lucky, he might even sell leather clothing. He works with a lot of leather anyway. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I was thinking you'd tell him that you know that mark outside's been cleaned up and replaced with another one. Ooh, deception. Maybe you say. Interesting. Maybe you say, oh, those guys are back, or, oh, you covered it up with mm, the sun. See how he reacts. Maybe you actually do that. You can do, put a mark down with your magic, right? Yes, but... It lasts a little while. You're asking me to piss off the, the god, the one of the followers of the god that everyone says stay away from. We're breaking into their headquarters. Again, my, my suggestion has been very clear. I say we go to the Redwood. Well, we got two yes. people now who you know, kind of no say stay here. Aside from gold. He's been asked to stay and... I want to see this through to the end. He wants to see this through and well, we're not done with you either. I'm a big fan of pleasing Siegfried. I mean, that's why I wanted to do this quest, but... I can't really bring pride to my people with first chance I get, I let a war kind of inside itself. We got we got plenty of time. There's no limit, really. It's not a matter of that. It's a matter of, we keep being told, eh, you're going to die if you keep asking questions, and we keep asking questions. I, I think we got told that maybe once or twice. We've to be been told that. You're right. We need to be told five times before it becomes a real threat. 
Well, nothing has actually happened to us, so... Not yet. Yeah. I've met yeah. two of the leaders so far. I haven't been killed. That's true, I mean, yeah. That means there's only three left, so if I don't miss and we talk to one of them, it could be their fault. <laughs> I mean, one of them is Nehru, which, you know, scary name, scary thought, but it's not terrible. And one of them is Vecna. Again, just because everyone else thinks it's spooky. <laughs> Alright, well, one of the ones... You want to trade places? I'll go talk to the halfling. You can go with Asim. I'll go to the. I'll go to the shop. Awesome. And I will come with you. Excellent. So, should we set out upon this now, or should we wait? Unless we uh, all want to tackle one and then the other together. It's, mm, we could. Like I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if I can get all of you in. Well. I'm not saying we all necessarily go in, but maybe we'll need a help so on the outside or a distraction at some point. That's very possible, yes. Well, perhaps we'll go see the shopkeep first then. Mm. I guess should I take off my weapons mm. just the shovel? Oh, if it's a Probably. I hope you get in a fight with if it's just a spear the anyway, shovel. You should be fine. But he can't sharpen a shovel and just call it a spear. He also I'll probably shouldn't be wearing his arm. I'm sure arm. he could do a lot of damage with a sharp shovel. He's a big fella. don't wear armor. Yeah, you might uh, not want to wear the chain. You could wear some leathers under your shirt or something. Take off the chain. I like, I sleep in this. You sleep in this? Oh, I have. Yeah, and then you groundskeeper would never wear hours it. the next day that you can't move. They'd be very inside. uncomfortable. Can't I be like a guard? You could, but I don't know. Um, many what if I'm a terrifying, fierce warrior from the Eastern Watch that was posted to keep track of the door, or anything's disturbed while you investigate the room? Yes, I suppose. The people half inside do believe I'm supposed to be taking half over things. Half-breeds and Eastern Watches. watches. Well, an intelligence check. Well, we'll call it a history check. 20. 20? To the best of your knowledge, no. Um, <laughs> the thing is, uh, the Eastern Watch doesn't have any... doesn't hire half-breeds. You've already dealt with this problem. I, I doubt there's really much of any half-breeds in any of the watches. In fact, out of all of the, the armies, the Eastern Watch is the most known for being purely human. Oh. Eastern Watch is all humans. Hmm. Like, not even like elves or half-elves. Or yeah, in the other ones you do occasionally find members of other races that have, have elevated themselves into it. The Eastern Watch, it's almost unheard of to have. Some I'm of from the members. Western Watch, then. <laughs> so the Western Watch is here. Speaking of which... This is the Eastern Watch. Western oh. Watch is really far away. <laughs> Sorry, I thought he was talking about... Spe speaking of the watches, um, I, I don't, didn't know how to bring this up because it made me gag every time I thought of it, but you need to get rid of that head. That lion's head is it's vile. It's at the bear, cart. The bear head. Oh, the lion. Oh, yeah, the lion head. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh. You the killed donkey. it. The donkey. We you took the bounty. <laughs> Look at the amount of gold that thing's worth. You actually, then go hand it in. Actually, um, we can't hand it in here. I killed it. We have to, where do you have to hand it in? Hmm? Say I killed it. Wasn't our idea and to take it to someone can deal with to it. prove it? All right, I leave it on the cart. That's <laughs> the opposite of dealing with it. That's ignoring it. Well, maybe if we find a bounty board somewhere. How about that? Otherwise, maybe we should just bury it. Can you bury soup? <laughs> <laughs> it's only been what, like, a few days. Gross. Uh, are we, are we? Have you ever left okay. meat out for you, a week? You guys traveled for like four days past where you killed it. Then you've been in town for Yeah, you're right, you're right. Well, it's putrid. It's probably not soup, but it's probably not the blood. Of it's going to be pretty much a soggy skull. <laughs> By the time you get back to How much did we give that guy to hold our stuff? A we lot. gave him a lo lot. Not enough, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> All right, well, I'll head back through there, and I'll pay him and get rid of the bounty. Yeah, I was going to say, because it's been three days now, hasn't let's, it? Um, let's stop by the shop first. 
at least pulled together until then. It's more or less on the way. I Opposite hope. directions. Damn. Oh. It's probably better, you know. You pass the stables on the way here. No. Well, don't worry about this. We can I'll do our thing. No. Okay. Well. Well, what? Which way first then? We're dealing with the head and the. Uh, and we're dealing with the head and then. Why don't you guys go deal with the head and we'll go to the shop? Can't find me. Not there. We might be at the mares for a while. We'll deal with the head, alright? He's right, they might be there longer. And <laughs> but aren't we supposed to wait outside for some sort of message, you know, help? Well, if, if they forego that by asking us to go talk to Vecna. The Vecna store. If I was to ask you for help while we were in there, it would be too late already. Good luck. Alright. <laughs> We'll stop by when we have a chance, and if there's chaos, we will join. That's horrifying. <laughs> While you're in there, if you're into a gym, remember you have to flask. Magic can help. Right. You, tend to set, you tend to set fire on things. It can be more useful than you think. If you say oh, that it's river, it will send a stream at us. <laughs> right. I'll remember that. Water! Oh. Aqua! <laughs> enough, enough to put someone on our butt. Alright. And Lee, let's go work that silver tongue of yours. All right. Mm. We'll wait here first while you guys head out. And head out just after you. Stay good with watching. I'll take my clothes off. Oh. <laughs> go to your room for that. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. What? I'll think about it for a second. Yeah, like, you know what? Put my armor back on and I'll go to my room. Can I, can actually, <laughs> it takes a while to get out of your armor. I'll say you start to like undo it and be like, <laughs> Yeah, I think get up from the. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing too. You know what I like to do. I like We're to party. We're going to take <laughs> No. It's probably a better idea. Are you okay with that, buddy? What was it? They were gonna take Tarot off. I'm taking my two favorite people. Yeah. Turns and look at Nadia. Dead for dark. And he turns back and flew with you. <laughs> we're we're gonna stop at this bakery. They have really good. Baked good, it's so good. Uh, I don't know if you can give a Remember bird sugar. sugar. It might be like dog <laughs> chocolate. You saying yeah, not to give the bird? Have you watched him take care of this thing? <laughs> I'll look at him. I'll go in my backpack. Yes. Here he's you go. Giving, look, he's doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't say it was a good idea. He takes out. Like That'd be fine. Uh, uh, it's a, a long kid. piece that's on a stick. You just kind of like flip it in the side of his mouth. And, and then I'll hand him like five gold. Make sure you're good for the day. If anything happens, you should be okay. You've got enough money to eat. We're gonna have great fun, right? <laughs> he just like shifts the stick around to the other side of his mouth. I like your style. Oh, he's just gonna buy five gold worth of candy. <laughs> just like and you know who's not shot. gonna stop him? <laughs> <laughs> Not if he's giving us free baked goods. He's gonna walk out of there with like five That's a, pastries. You're an awful, awful person. <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna stop him if he's giving us free baked goods. <laughs> Kendrick was gonna buy him some baked goods. You give him money, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get my own and let him get whatever he wants take with his go pastries from a child. <laughs> you savage. You're gonna take pastries from him. From. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <good one. laughs> It'll be interesting. To so it's like reach faster. over. It's like, can, can you fix this? <laughs> Damn, though, he yeah, rolls a lot of twenties. So. Yeah. Do you imagine like you're gonna lose a finger? It's gonna be five finger fillet, five, finger you fillet and five seconds right. later, no he rolls finger fillet. Yeah, you and I crits again. This game will. It's all cool. You have metal arms, right? No, not really. No. Uh, okay. So the plan is: you three are sneaking in. You two are buying pastries. Yes. 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 And we're disposing of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should do that in the right order. <laughs> Dispose of head. Eat. <laughs> Wash hands. <laughs> Dispose of head. Presentation. Eat. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Get to a 99.9 for the intro. <laughs> 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 you gotta be careful. It's this rampant use of precipitation to wash your hands that's causing super bugs. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen them with the metal on the back of their heads and the acid spit. <laughs> <laughs> it is like the magic arcane word for it is like, Lysol! <laughs> <laughs> Lysol. I think it's Purell. <laughs> Purell. All right. Um, so you guys head out. Um, we'll take a quick break there. Um, get back to it shortly after. Um, refill your drinks. Go to the bathroom. Um, yeah. Be back shortly. Uh, one thing before we take a break that I want to say, you guys. Know. I just wanted to say thank you very much. We officially have our first piece of fan mail. Yay. Um, so oh. if you're out there watching this V, so thank crazy. you so much. You fast. You, you don't understand how happy this the moment that opening that box and seeing the letter in there. It was grinning like a child. Yeah, I, I might have skipped once or twice. Hmm. Um, and in it was this beautiful card. Uh, Closer. Closer. Close. Closer. Sorry. Close. It's a webcam. It's like really far away from him, surprisingly. It's, yeah, it's so far away. With handwriting that puts us all to yeah, absolute Yeah, your handwriting shame. is amazing. When you, you can, when nobody can read mine, but look how pretty that is. So, thank you very much. Um, we we, we, we can't cool. even begin to express how much we appreciate this. It's awesome. Thank it's you. Pretty, pretty, pretty we can begin, we just, there's no way to, there's no yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> thank you! What is that? Oh my god, I need to be. Andrew's already in there. It'll take me a while to hobble on over. Yeah, I thought I thought Frog Toys being super gangster there for a second, because he wrote, "I don't know, I don't know ho send a letter." I'm like, "Oh, whatever." But it's how I'm just like.
Someone else we made fun of this week? No. No, it's all no, back. I, I, <laughs> we're back. Yeah. We're, we're back. back. All right. <laughs> we're back. Sorry, I said that wrong. First I time. watched that the other day. Good movie. Holds up. That's what? good. We're back. Oh, that freaking dinosaur movie. Oh, D&D. D&D. Yeah. All right. So, after half-baking your plans, everybody gets ready and heads out. Mm-hmm. Um, so, oh, I still got stuff. <laughs> yeah, not just half in. <laughs> Stale now. <laughs> That's true. So, uh, the two of you, along with Teradoc, uh, are heading off towards the bakery. Um, I'm right sorry. Yeah, do it just as AC, and I was like, what? Don't yeah, worry. it's no a big change. It's hours. okay. You only have to write one number now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's a nine. I wish. <laughs> Eight? <laughs> So um, the rest of you head off towards the uh, mayor's office. Um, so you three making your way to. Well, we're going to the stable first. Oh, you go to. The yeah, stable. I'm going to the stable. Um, going where first? Stable. For sake of brevity, you make your way there. Um, everything seems to be in order. The cart stinks. There's flies everywhere. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, um. We need like a soundtrack. All right. Place. So. Yeah. It's in a bag, right? It wasn't a bag. It wasn't yes. a bag. Okay. The cart still stinks. There's flies. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm asking for the sake. Of... It's not an airtight bag. No, <laughs> the no... bag is pretty gross and <laughs> drippy. Cool. Oh! Um, I'll, I'll pick it up and be like, sorry about that. We forgot about this. To the guy that's there. Just get rid of it, please. I'll give him three gold. <laughs> <laughs> he, he takes it. He doesn't even say thank you. Oh, that's bad. I mean, you like a rotting head in a bag in his table. Yeah, we forgot How long about we paid this. up to? He was happy with it. You asked for that? Yeah. Well, whenever you leave. I, I like you. I'm very, I'm very sorry about this. It's alright. Yeah, we originally said three, but then we overpaid him, so. Yeah, it was like a copper, and you're like, gold! <laughs> uh, okay. So I'll, uh, what am I going to do with this thing? <laughs> Put a trash can on him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this is money. Stupid man. Yeah. Been here. <laughs> oh! I believe the idea was to take it to some sort of they're, official. They're, they're not going to take through the bounty here. It's just. And I think that was that, what Asim wanted. So you want to take this into an official building and then ask them to give us 200 gold for it. They said proof. They didn't say how old this proof had to be. All right. Let's head up to town for the quick moment. I will burn away the flesh and we will have the skull. Will that work? I don't know, really. How f- we're not that far from out of town, right? Because this is where you're we're in going. town. Like, like to get out of town. Um, probably take uh where you are. Probably take you a couple hours. All right, let's go. We're gonna walk out of town to set a head on fire. I can't use my magic in town. Can't we just find the alley? No. Digitation, is that the same thing? Kind of. Make it taste better. <laughs> oh, the thought of that is disgusting. Get your delicious. You can warm it up or cool, or cool it. It says I can make an odd odor. 
Can I make it good odor? Like make it good? What's an odd odor? It, it wouldn't be something terribly strong. It's just like it, it's all small it. effects. Straight up, just like What's an just odd? like a pine in front pine. of her nostrils, like pine scent. <laughs> okay, it smells like the woods. Oh, I hate the woods. <laughs> Smells like dirty and fruit. It's just whenever I, <laughs> whenever yeah. I like think of this head and this cat, it just brings me water. back to the forest. And it's just bad. Okay, it smells like the sea. Ah. Oh. Good memories. Yeah, I'll just keep going. Out of town. It smells like you're on the sea and something is wrong. <laughs> All right. Pretty much what you're used to. <laughs> Uh, we'll try to make it out of town as fast as we can. So you guys make your way outside of town where as you can, fast as you can deal with it. Um, you draw a few odd glances walking through town with this bag of gore. Uh, um, yeah. So, infiltration <laughs> team. Make your way to the mayor's estate. Um, it takes you a little while. You head down into the uh, towards downtown, um, up through kind of where some of the shops are. Uh, continue north until you hit the, that uh, main road north uh, that opens up into the uh, large roundabout that goes around the mayor's estate. Um, what do you guys do? I guess we'll just walk right up to the gate. Yeah, I'd probably actually walk behind Finley. <coughs> okay. Very notable. So you guys all just walk up to the gate? We got names. I used my actual name last time. Uh, um, Evander. Okay. Uh, and are you going to be going by a different name as well? You can call me Gala. What? Sorry. Gala. Gala, alright. Gala and Evander? Evander. Evander. Right. That's, I know that's an elven name, right? <laughs> Is it? Everything is, it? is wrong about the character. Actually, actually, I would not go in here. speak Elvish, so yeah, I would know, actually. Okay. Just give it a more gruff name or something. Perhaps. So you guys walk up to the gate. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> two guards are posted at the sides. You can see patrol kind of moving behind the gate through the grounds. Um, as you approach, the guards kind of snap up to each other and go, Hold up, what's your business? It's different guards than last time. Um... Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, one of them is the same. One okay. Them. Hello again. Oh, yeah. Uh, Finley, wasn't it? Yep. All right. What are you doing? Today's work. Okay. Finished Over yesterday's. There. He's the new groundskeeper. I believe he said his name was Evan Durr or something along those lines. Evander. I've been sent in. And this is uh, Gala. He's the new engineer. Hey. He used to be keeping... Things in order. Is he trustworthy? Very much so. Said he'd take my fingers if I didn't work properly. Not you. Oh, the big one. Oh yes, he's very quiet. Tends to just do what he's told and keep his nose clean. Alright. Yeah, and we'll just go through, just give him a bow as I go. Well, come now. Let's not waste any time. Oh, yeah. I'm just mosey on. Closes through. the gate behind you. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Where is my post, good sir? <coughs> uh, we'll discuss that when we get up to the building. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. yeah, and we'll just go up to the front door again. So you walk over to the building, as you remember, a uh, bit of an L shape, the entranceway is actually in the corner. Yep. Um, you go up the few steps towards it. Uh, again, the same doors. Um, Gala, would you knock this time? I can't reach the knocker. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Could have left you next time. Then it goes by, and you hear. Jeez! You hear the bolt slide open. <laughs> really? <laughs> cracks open, and you see the, the same gentleman from before. Hello again. Ah, good day. 
And what are we today? Well, he used to be one of your new groundskeepers, and he used to maintain the building. He's in one of the new engineers. <laughs> well, shall Very we? Very well. Opens the door. Thank you. Hmm. I'll just kind of walk in. Um, if you would, show Ivan about... Oh, uh, sorry, Ivan, old friend of mine. Gala, show him about, um, make sure he knows of all the issues that need repaired, and show him where he'll be joining the rest of the staff. As I said, new groundskeeper, new engineer. Very we good, sir. Closes the door. And don't worry, he doesn't bite, despite his appearance. This way, then. He lead you off. So, Finley, what kind of plants used to be planted here? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask the rest of the staff. I I'm just overseeing them. I did fantastic roses in Vallandale. Oh, I'm sure they'll be happy to hear that. Roses are quite nice. They're red. <laughs> <laughs> red roses. <laughs> what? <laughs> However, he doesn't know what roses are. <laughs> well, he thinks tulips are roses, right? That's a <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had the wrong oh, that's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you're good with roses. What the f*** are these? Why do they have thorns? <laughs> Why did these roses hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Um, he leads you to uh, forward, uh, again, this entryway kind of encompasses part of this corner. Um, <coughs> very large grand, goes up a long way, there's this curling staircase along the back corner. Um, he leads you up to the left um, through a row of pillars. Um, there's a long wall and a, a uh, hallway beside it, lead you up and around. Um, as you come around you can hear uh, these sounds of a, a kitchen, um, just starting uh, its daily um, uh, routine. You can hear things being clattered. Um, you can hear things uh, uh, clearly on a heat source somewhere uh, starting to cook. You can start to smell it. Um, he leads you over to the kitchen, opens up the door. Uh, looking in, you can see a very large, extravagant kitchen. Uh, there's six people moving about right now in white coats, um, just preparing um, different parts of the meals that can be done earlier in the day. Um, he leads you over and calls into uh, into the kitchen and goes, hey, uh, Madison, uh, come here a minute. And you see uh, this one uh, woman for a cup, a little heavier set, a um, little thick through the face, um, comes walking over. You can see the coat's pretty dirty at this point already. Walks over, pulls off the cap. You can see kind of messy, shorter hair. Hey, what is it? Uh, this is, uh, sorry, what was your name, sir? Gala. Gala, he's here to uh, do the repairs that you asked for. All right, well, let's go. No time to waste. Mm. Oh, right. She leads you in. Um, start showing you to a few of um, their oven ranges and stoves. Um, they've been having problems with the uh, gas pressure coming in. Um, basically, sets to work on that. Get to work on it best I can. Yep. Um, so you said about that, um, as soon as she has you set on that, she just goes back to what she's doing. Um, clearly the, the, the head chef here, she's just shouting orders to everybody else. Um, pretty rude with a couple of them. Um, she's definitely not nice about when people make mistakes. Um, as, after he goes in, uh, he closes his eyes. So, Very well, sir, I will show you out back to the tool shed. He starts walking out back towards the entrance. Oh, you headed off alone? Uh, yeah, I told them to send you guys off. Oh, okay. To where you're going. He goes cool. back up to the entrance, opens up the door. After you, sir. I'll go first. Closes the door. Lead you out and around the building. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I was just like, oh, okay, good. <laughs> 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 and, I don't know what he was thinking. He's not hired at all. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have a talk with that halfling. <laughs> leads you out and around. You can see uh, down at the, the far end of, of this wing, um, it opens up into a large square uh, a room. You can see large windows that go all the way up the wall, um, going along this wall. You can see in there's just a large dining hall. Um, he leads you out and around it, out to the back. You can see there's, there's uh, various gardens in various states of 
disarray. Obviously, they haven't been looked after uh, very well. Um, they're overgrown. Um, some of them are half dead. Um, it leads you around the back, um, and there's a small shed um, just a little ways off of the main building. Um, walks over to it and says, everything you need will be here. Am I to just maintain the plants, or? You don't have anything? to take it up with your boss, Finley. He turns back and starts walking back the way he came. Roses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how much this guy hates me. It's great. He will <laughs> replace him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can just see Astro just like hacking at the weeds with his shovel. <laughs> I do good work. <laughs> so we did it. Two minutes later, he's digging with a sickle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. It takes right. a long time. Mm-hmm. Right. So does he like? What does he do? Does he come back to me, or does he just kind of like go about his own business? Well, you you uh, kind of say that, and he leads immediately leads them off. Yeah. Towards okay. the kitchen. Okay. As he does that, I guess I'll start. I'll just go back to the mayor's office. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Straight to the point. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. Go, start wrong. <laughs> go over to the stairs. Uh, walk up and around. Um, as you go up, you come back into that upper area that you're familiar with, uh, kind of the landing above the stairs, uh, wall on either side uh, mm-hmm. with a door set in it. Okay. Um, you head over towards uh, where the waiting room was. Mm-hmm. Um, make a perception check. Okay, perception. I'm so good at this. That's what falls for me. Six. <laughs> Solid six. Six? Okay. So you go up to the door. Um, it seems pretty quiet up here. Okay. Turn the handle, open it up. Seems empty. Okay. I'll just go through. Okay, you go in. Uh, have a look around. Uh, fairly dark in here. Um, as before, uh, the tables with the various couches and chairs. Um, you move through towards the, uh, the far side, uh, where the door is set in the middle. Yeah. Um, grab the handle, open it up. Um, same as before, uh, just a very large, extravagant office. Um, the door on the far side is still propped open exactly how it was left before. You can see light streaming in through the, uh, the large windows beyond it. Okay. I guess I'll go through that door this time. Okay, so you go across the office and then through the door? Yep. Okay. So you go through the other side. Um, you're standing on what appears to be a large balcony. Okay. Um, made of this very ornate uh, white stone of some kind, um, going up to the edge of it um, with these very uh, uh, well-crafted shape, uh, carved pillars okay. uh, that form the railing. You look down over and you can see uh, you're actually standing over top of the dining hall. Oh, you can okay. see the tables underneath. That's cool. Uh, do I, is there anything like amiss about the balconies? Like, there are any scorch marks like there were inside or no? Uh, make a investigation check. Another thing I'm super good at. Mm, Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Uh, off to one side, you catch a glint in the light. Okay. Um, and you find a uh, broken sword. There's only about um, eight inches of the blade. Okay. Um, it's like just sitting somewhere, or is it like yeah, embedded? Yeah, it's the hilt and eight inches of blade, and it's kind of like scattered off to the corner. I guess I'll go pick that up. Uh, take a look at it. Is there like any like blood on it or anything like that, or is it just kind of a broken sword? It doesn't appear to be any blood on it that you can okay. tell. Is it like well made, or is it just? It's a very well made blade. Yeah. So it might have been the mayor's. Uh, make an uh, intelligence check. All right. So good at these checks. <laughs> I'm so glad we sent. Oh, you. fucking natural oh, one. So Sweet. Glad. I'm the smartest. You're not. Oh wait, I can reroll that because of being because a halfling. You're a halfling. Woohoo! That's better. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you yeah. have seen something like this before. Okay. Um, this looks very similar to the one that all the guards carry around town. Oh. Hmm. As you know, they all have very well-made gear. Okay. That's interesting. Um, so I guess I'll just kind of like tuck that inside my jacket. Mm-hmm. Because I'm taking that shit. <laughs> Figure out more about it later. Um, and then I guess I'll go back in the office and... There was no other doorways or anything in like. There the, was just no. the two doors, the one at the back and the one that you came through. Okay. So this was on the balcony. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'm trying to think of the there be a I'm guessing they came in through this way, but don't know what else to look for really. Uh, is there any sort of like climbing gear <laughs> leading up to the balcony, like on the, any of the sconces or anything like that? Uh, you look around the the balcony. Don't laugh. That's um, a legit thing to look for. You don't find anything okay. of that sort. Something clumsy. Leading it could have been a that. legit thing to look for. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is a clumsy that a sword's left behind. Things like found marks and evidence of that and stuff. Hmm. Are there any sort of like? I'll go back into the office and. You said there's scorch marks, but there was no other like, there's no, uh, like stuff scattered around. There's not like a evidence of a sword fight in the office, though. Eh? Uh, okay. So what specifically in the office are you looking at? We'll I guess one like, part at a time. I guess like gouges in things, like like someone, just, like making wild slashes at them or something like that. Okay, make an investigation check. Oh my god, so many things I'm great at. The same thing. Oh my god. Ten. You're so lucky though. Yeah, thank God. Ten? Yeah. That's a crazy um, ability. Okay. Uh, so you brutal. you start investigating around the room, kind of looking for things that are amiss. Uh, you do notice one of the bookshelves, uh, a few of the books are kind of knocked off. Mm -hmm. um, you go over and have a look, um, and you see um, in, in two places on the bookshelf these small round holes. Okay. Um, it's the, oh, I guess I'll go take a closer look at the holes, like if I poke in them, is there like any sort of, like you, is there depth to them? You like, your finger, it goes in for quite a ways, and just when you think that it, it's too deep for your finger, it hits something metal. I'm gonna take out the sword and dig out one of the metal things. <laughs> you take out the broken sword? Yeah, that's kind of, I know, wait, I'll use my sword actually, so I don't ruin okay. the evidence. It's a small hole, oh. the sword's not gonna fit. Shit, you're right. Hmm. I guess I could bust out one of my tailoring tools, like my tailor scissors. Kind of like scissors. Dig out the... Is it like... It's not drywall, so I might not be able to do that. It, it's, a, it's a wooden shelf. Ah, fuck. Very well-crafted wooden shelf. Okay. I, just, I don't know how I'm going to pry that out then. Probably not going to be able to. This is an interesting fight. Bullets, scorch marks... Just and take the, the whole source. shelf. <laughs> <laughs> these, these shelves are like floor to ceiling. No, I like, know. That's you can use a ladder. Mary you can use a broken it. ladder in here. Rage oh, okay. it. <laughs> you could attempt to just like start breaking the shelf if you. Want I to. really don't want to do that. That's super. Yeah. Giveaway. Uh, I'll check out the broken ladder though. Uh, take a closer look at the break. Okay. Um, so you go over to investigate the ladder. Um, and you notice that amongst its ruin is a uh, single finely made dagger. I'll take a look at that too. Is there any sort of symbols on it or is it just like a really nice dagger? Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. God damn it. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Alright. Um, it doesn't have any symbols of craft on it. Mm -hmm. um, there is one interesting thing about the pommel, mm -hmm. very different than anything you've seen before, just the shape of it that it takes. Mm -hmm. um, it comes out into almost like this um, four-pronged um, claw at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, you have seen one like this before. Okay. Teradoc is carrying one. Okay, so... Yep, I'll I'll take that too. <laughs> Put it in the other side of my coat. Okay. Oh my god. He just walks out and he's like, cool, cool. make a dexterity <laughs> check, please. Oh, no. <gasps> gotta leave the room. Thank God for my dex being good. <laughs> please don't fuck up because I said that. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. See, so touch the dagger. Okay. Kind of like, you go to leave the room and Teradoc is standing there, <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. I guess I'll take a look for anything else amiss. Okay. So I have a, now I have a broken soldier sword, a dagger from... Are you writing that down? Similarities. Yeah, I'll write it down in a second. Actually, I should write that down now before I forget. Oh 
Okay. Uh, I guess I'll look about for anything else amiss okay. before I leave the room and then go around. So I'll make a final investigation check. We'll just call this one a general search it's around the room. Okay. Come on, good stuff. Fuck you. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two? Yeah. Dick all. Okay. One um, final chance. You don't find anything else around the office. Um, kind of as a last thing, um, you investigate the, the burns into the carpet. Okay. Um, as you're looking, um, you kind of stop for a minute and back up away from it. Mm -hmm. and you can see in the carpet, actually in the burns, there is what appears to be the shape of a body um, on the carpet. There is no body, it's just where the burns are, there's one spot that's not burned. It looks almost like a chalk at one. Oh! <laughs> Continuing to look, you kind of focus out for a second and look at the shape of the burn. The yeah. shape of the burn forms a dragon head. Okay, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Everyone's involved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I guess he'll just make a quick sketch of the burn in his journal. You already have a sketch that looks exactly like it. Yeah, you're right, I do. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'll leave the room and I'll go look for the old head butler who I have usurped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you leave. Um, as you, you head back down uh, the stairs, mm -hmm. uh, you can see him coming back in the front door. Okay. Uh, I can't remember. Did he tell me his name? Okay, well, I'm just gonna make it. Excuse me, you come Did here. Did you write it in your book? Uh, yes, sir. You. Um, I would like to speak with all of the staff individually, starting with you. Sir? Shall we go sit down somewhere more comfortable? Perhaps the waiting room. As you wish. Alright, so we'll lead him up to the waiting room. So <laughs> oh, I know, it's great. <laughs> Me, I love it. That's it's like uh, Jock's taken by a halfling, you know, <laughs> half breed, digging around the garden. <laughs> digging around the garden. engineer. Comes back, he's, he's in a six walk. foot hole, just oh, like digging. Yeah. Yeah. Shovel's not bitching digging at me. a Get hole. Her stove's fixed, what are you though. doing? I'm digging a pool. With that constitution, though, <laughs> <laughs> you'll just be He'll like. never get tired. <laughs> <laughs> just dig. All right, so yeah, I'll have him sit down with me. Well, they do have strong okay. backs. And I'll be like, so he what can you in, tell me about. Sits down very stiffly. Yes. So what can you tell me about the night that uh, he died? Well... Where were you? It was at night. I was in my room sleeping. Okay. Oh, did it. Now, which of the staff would be awake at this time, or does everyone oh, take their leave and go to sleep around the same hour? Everybody would be in their quarters at that hour. Okay. Was anyone aw awake, uh, awoken by the uh, commotion? There seemed to be a great deal of uh, disarray in that room. No, he was found the next morning. Hmm. That's odd. No, no one was stirred by that. Strange. Did you know him very well personally, or was he just sort of the head of the house? Well, he worked in the estate, if that's what you mean. Yes, that's about it. You just sort of took care of things, never really interacted with him socially. My job is to see to the running of this this place. Of course, naturally. I don't deal with personal relationships within it. Hmm, that's strange. A good butler would take care to know his uh, master well. Yes, I suppose so. Fine then. Um, I'd like, like I said, I want to speak with each of the staff members individually and recount their individual stories. The chefs are busy preparing today's meal. Would you like me to take them out of the kitchen now? I'm sure you would have assumed I would speak to them when they're done. Very well. <laughs> would you like to talk to the handyman? Sure, of course. I said all of them. Very well. I will fetch him. <laughs> he leaves. Oh, Finley. Oh, it hurts me so much being this rude. Fire him. 
I just I can just him. in the back Fire of my him. head I can just hear as, my <laughs> as you're just like almost oh, well, fixing this. You didn't get <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it. That's where I said son of a half slime. Did you have working on this piece of shit before? Um the chefs take no notice of your swearing, they're just working around you. Um all of a sudden you hear somebody clear that up. <clears throat> really? <laughs> The master has need of you. Who? Your boss, Finley. I don't know who he says it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. God, in the back of my head, though, like my uncle's words are just echoing, like, never be rude. And I'm just like, <laughs> Wait, then. He leads you upstairs. God, my tools cut too much. This is gonna there. be great. Yeah, a couple of scattered tools there, so like <laughs> bits open. <laughs> <laughs> All you hear as you're leaving is uh, the the chef there just scream out, "Hey Gerard, you asshole! I need him to fix that." <laughs> Uh, he leads you out <laughs> up the stairs. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> this poor man. <laughs> She's positively charming. Goes upstairs, leads you around up to the door, opens up the door, and in case you go in. He's waiting in here. Right, yeah, right. right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So after about ten minutes of waiting, the door opens and he ushers <laughs> Ivan into the room. What the hell do you want, Finley? You got a Did gas he, line that I'm pretty sure helps for a and, and he closes the door. He <laughs> asked him, <laughs> son of a bitch. He asked if I would like him to bring the handyman to speak with me. I did not know they didn't have one beforehand. So he brought me you. To go about that. what you were doing. And I'm going to have a serious talk with this fellow. Handyman. I don't know if it's a shot. Anyway. Like, <sighs> So what, I'm just going to sit here for five minutes till no. I didn't kill the mayor and then go back like... No, no, you're going to go back immediately. And then I'm going to go tell him off. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, all right, I'll get back to it then. I don't even remember where it was in there anymore. God damn, friggin' yeah, you old do. made piece of... <laughs> mutters wandering back. <laughs> Throws the door open. Throws the door open and he goes... Hmm... <laughs> and starts walking back down the stairs again. I'll just come back out the door. Uh, uh, <laughs> come here. <laughs> yes. This is quite a smart ass thing you did there. <laughs> you said you wished to see all of the staff, sir. <laughs> Touche. All of the staff previously employed before the two new ones I brought myself. Very well. He turns and starts leaving. Oh. <laughs> I twitch. My yeah, my eye is just as soon as he turns away, I'm just like full twitching on the left side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go back down, pick up where you left off. Um smart ass looks like a Gerard too. <laughs> Five minutes later. Um he comes back leading in um uh, a young woman, um, head wrapped in a, uh, like a white, um, almost like a turban, but not quite. Um, looks like it's just more to hold the hair back. Um, very basic dress, um, covered with a, a short apron. Comes walking, um, yes? Hello, um, have a seat. Okay. Wherever you choose, it's fine. Sits down. What's your name? Oh, Cindy. And what is your position here in the household? Uh, I, I'm the maid. Okay. Um, so I'd, I'd like to ask you about uh, the night that the mayor passed. But, I mean, why? I'm just, I need the story from all of the staff so that I can corroborate uh, the events and make sure that one story makes sense. Okay. So, what do you know? Nothing. Okay. Um, I, I assume you're going to tell me what he told me. Were you uh, asleep when all of it happened and you woke to find out he was dead? Yeah. 
I'm um, no need to be so nervous. I'm not accusing you. Why are we here? Well, why are we here in terms of employment, or why are you speaking with me directly? Because I told you why you're speaking with me. Look, I don't, I don't know any. I didn't do anything. I, it, I wasn't there. You weren't there. Like you weren't in the building. I was asleep. Okay. This is going nowhere. Insider. Hmm. Insider. Can I insight check her yeah. being all shifty? <laughs> shifty. <laughs> shifty. Sin. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Uh, she seems really nervous. Relax. You've nothing to fear. I'm not going to cause you any harm, nor ruin your employment here. I simply need to know what you know. I, I just clean things. And has anyone let you in the mayor's office since the event? Or have you been restricted from cleaning they, this area? They don't let anybody in there now. That makes sense. Uh, are you the only maid? Are there others? I assume there would be more than one of you. No, there's another one. There's only one other. Alright. Um, you can go. Um, tell Gerard. Or I don't know his name, damn it. Tell him to uh, send the other one in. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jumps up and like darts out. Yeah, so I'll just wait for the next one. Okay, another... Five ten minutes goes by, um, comes back, um, ushers in another woman. Uh, tall, thin, um, long, uh, dark hair, just sort of uh, starting to uh, go white around the edges. Uh, comes in. Uh, yeah, you want to see me? Yes, uh, have a seat. All right. She comes and sits down, crosses her legs. Um, I'm speaking with all the staff here. Uh, what What's your name? Camille. Camille. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm over. I'm the new head of this building. I'm overseeing and things. Um, I need to. They didn't tell me anything about the new guy. Of course. Why would they? I'm also fairly certain he despises me. So. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, I need to know what you know about the night that the mayor died. I don't know. He got cooked in his office. He got cooked in his office. Well, the other one. Everyone else so far has told me they know nothing. We don't know what happened. We just know they carted him out. Fair enough. Um, so, are you? I guess you're the head maid. You're in charge of the other one. Well, are I you mean, I've been here a lot longer. But in tandem. Oh, okay, so it's seniority, not really a head position. Um, hmm. Can you tell me anything about the mayor? Did you know him very well, or did you simply just clean up after him? I don't know, clean around. Seemed like a decent guy. Fair He's enough. always polite. That's good. He should be. Did anything ever seem amiss with him? Um, uh, ever seem to be un like uneasy? I don't know. What do you want me to say about a politician? You're shifty. Mm, shifty and uneasy are two different things. So you know absolutely nothing. Look, I don't, I don't know what you want from me. I, I clean the place. Well, that's very fair. Are there any unusual messes you had to clean up after said poli political figure? God damn, <laughs> I've made pipes! No, <laughs> 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 uh, well, not really. No? Alright. Did you ever have any unsavory guests that you would know of, or that come to mind? Um, well, I mean, on occasion, uh, he does get some some guests kind of unusually late at night from time to time. Mm. Did they have any sort of notable um, icons or symbols on their clothing? I don't know. I never saw them. I just know that uh, a few times at night I was cleaning out in this room here and uh, I could hear people talking in there, but I don't remember anybody coming. Did you uh, happen to remember anything they spoke about? Nah. I'm not one to eavesdrop. Oh, that's a shame. Um, well, thank you. You can go. Tell him to 
send the next one. Do you know his name, by the way? I'd like to address him. Yeah. By Gerard? It. Yes, Gerard. Thank you. Alright, I'll tell <laughs> him, but... She just gets up, starts walking. Alright. Um, like, ten seconds later, Gerard comes in. Who else would you like to talk to? I told you all of them. Did I so not? So you want to talk to the cooks now? Is that all there is That's left? all there is today. Ah. Fair enough. Then I'll wait till they're done. Uh, you, for now, can show me around. Everywhere. Of course, Finley. He turns into walking. Um, he'll lead you around. Um, it's all places you've seen. Yeah. Um, first he goes across on the, the upper floor, uh, through the other door. Mm. Um, he indicates the doors on either side. Uh, these are the servants' quarters. Uh, it's where they bunk. Of course. Well, all those who stay here, of course. He goes to the end, uh, opens up a door. Um, you see a much larger, um, extravagant bedroom. This is the uh, mayor's room. Um, whoever the appointed mayor is at the time stays here. Okay. I'm just going to be like, oh, hold up. I'm going to take a look in the mayor's room. Okay. Thank you. Wait outside. Of oh course, my sir. goodness. I'm going to have a look. Okay. What are you looking for? Um, I guess any more symbols, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Any letters or anything that would implicate someone um, communication between unsavory groups or something like that okay aside from that maybe uh, make an investigation check Ooh, death threats would be a good thing to look for uh, 11 11 yeah um, you poke around for a while um, is beautiful large uh, carved uh, four post bed you look under it around uh, in all the nightstands in a few of the dressers and wardrobes um, nothing um, in fact the only thing that stands out to you is mm -hmm. it's extremely clean and, and rigid and like, there's not a lot of it almost doesn't look like it was ever lived in hmm. um, the the clothes there are very minimal um, there's no personal effects like that um, it doesn't appear like somebody really lived here. It doesn't show many of the signs. Okay. Usually a place that's been uh, resided in. Alright, so I'll go back out. Hey. Uh, it's a bit dusty in there. You've not been keeping people in there. Um, also, did he not spend much time in there? What the mayor does with his time is his business, of course. Hmm. I suppose that's fair. Well, they should learn their habits best to take care of your master if you know them well, as I said before. All of his requests were seen to. Yes, but there's more to it than that. Anyway, carry on. As you say, he continues out. Finley's a badass. He's he's so rude. rude. I, yeah, and it's killing me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he leads you downstairs, um, takes you around uh, <coughs> south, um, into the lounge that you saw the night before. Okay. Uh, very nice sitting lounge. Again, all the uh, the detailing and everything is done in this, this very nice dark carved uh, wood. Um, the room as a whole is, is done in very dark colors. Um, nice carpet. Um, there's there's very uh, finely upholstered couches. Okay. Uh, very nice fireplace. It's quite a nice room. So, tell me about uh, the mayor's guests, those he would um, take in the late hours. I heard from one of the maids that uh, he would occasionally have some guests very late at night. Well, occasionally, state business runs late. Um, generally, uh, we don't take visitors after a certain hour. Um, if he did, uh, that's why the office is right here, near the uh, main door. Yes, that's fair. But would you not be there to greet them? Well, as I said, we take guests up to a certain hour. Mm -hmm. Of course, I would be the one to greet them. Sometimes we get important dignitaries or members of the military that need to be seen immediately. Yes. So, very rare. And you greeted them pleasantly, yes? Of course. Oh. Strange seems that things have changed nowadays. 
Anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you so get a bad. roll for that one. Excuse me, Finley. Stab. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you see this. <laughs> it would be a shame if he became the next mayor. Mm. Well, if you plan on staying in this town. <laughs> I just gotta wait and see what's happening. <laughs> Okay, so what do you do? I'll just have him continue on with my tour. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. So he uh, he takes you around. Um, the door beside the one to the lounge, he opens it up and shows you inside. Um, smaller room, um, still fairly nicely furnished, um, but a, li- a little cluttered, just shelves of, of different papers and, and filing cabinets and things. Um, very clearly an office. And this is uh, his working office uh, for meeting with various dignitaries and the aristocracy and anyone else who has business with the mayor. Of course, and this is the last stop on our uh, little tour here. Oh no, you wish to see everything. This way next. Of course, Uh, I'll follow him. Let's go back there later when he's done his little tour. He leads you across the the entranceway uh, through the little hallway around where the kitchen is. Uh, this, as you've seen, is the kitchen, and over here, and he indicates the, the doors on the other side of this hallway, uh, are the restrooms. Would you like a tour of those? No, I think I'm quite fine. Thank you very much, Gerard. This way, <laughs> and he leads you out the hallway and over towards the dining room, opens up the big double doors. You know, I think I should start calling, calling you Jerry. It's fitting. This is the (laughs) dining hall where we entertain uh, dinner guests, uh, important dignitaries. Of course. Would you like to look around the room? No, this is fine. Very well. Overview. Let's go. This way, then, sir. Closes the doors. Oh, sir, we're being formal now, are we? Down the hallway goes to the entrance door, opens up the door. After you, sir. No, no, I insist. Very well. And he goes down the steps. Okay. I'll follow him down. Okay. You follow him down. Um, he starts walking around the building. Okay. He's showing me the grounds. No, what have you been doing in your time? Is the dirt dry? Uh, it's pretty good, yeah. Watering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a very large rain bucket beside the shed. Um, you find a large uh, watering can, and I've been just going around watering the drain. If they, if I had watered everything by then, I would probably have gone to a spot where they were all like dead plants and start plucking the dead leaves off. <laughs> Okay, so he takes you around the dining hall, <laughs> and you come around the corner, and you see Asencroft standing there just picking dead leaves off of his bush. I just pause, try to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to try and contain myself as I just see this and be like, oh, oh dear. I would look over. <laughs> <sighs> he was um, not my selection. He seems to take no notice of this. Oh, good. He just walks directly behind him, basically steps over your tail, mm. keeps going, um, comes <laughs> to the shed and goes, and this is the tool shed. Wonderful. Where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> Many uh, useful items in there. Nothing to say. The smart mouth has been quieted. Uh, shall we continue? Oh, I believe you've seen uh, the entire manor. Excellent. You can You're go just about petty. your duties. Thank you, sir. Returns You're welcome, me. Jerry. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> I love how much he hates me. It's great. No, anyway. It's oh, it's fantastic. He's probably going to try and kill me. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'll walk back to that uh, first room where they entertain the dignitaries, like the office that he was showing me before. The office or the lounge? The, I guess it was the lounge, yeah. Okay. So you go back to the lounge? Yeah. Okay. Let's go take a look around. Um, I guess I'll look for any uh, 
any more symbols or something like that. Uh, I doubt there'd be any like documents left out or anything like that, so I'll, I'll just look for more uh, occasional clue, something that might tie any sort of dignitary to his death. Okay, make an investigation check. Alrighty. So you found the full confessional. Sixteen. Sixteen? It's not too bad. Um, you, you go around the room. Uh, this isn't really a room where business is handled. Oh. Um, this is where they would, you know, sit down and entertain people who need entertaining. Uh, okay. The office is kind of where um, actual business and paperwork is handled. Okay. Um, this would be more a, an area where they would bring people to sit down for drinks or something after dinner. Okay. I guess I'll move on to the office then. Okay. Uh, you go into the office. Um, it's a mess of paperwork. Okay. Everywhere. I guess I'll look through some of it. Just kind of skim, see if I find any incriminating things. Um, you skim through. Um, there's nothing terribly Im incriminating. No hate mail. Um, make an intelligence check. Intelligence, I'm so smart. No, I'm not. One, not natural. Okay. Um, yeah. There's there's lots of papers for dealing with different businesses and, and dignitaries and other and people in other towns and okay. um, that kind of thing. Um, different laws being drafted up and that. Um, nothing stands out as incriminating. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back to the mayor's office itself and see if I can look like I'm gonna look for like a, a gun because there were bullet holes and see if it was his gun that fired it off. Come to think of it. Okay. Um, yeah, go back up and make an investigation check. God! Oh, please roll well. No, nah, that is not well. Damn it. Seven. Seven? Yeah. Um. Poo. That really is so bad. Yeah. You, you don't find anything, um, like a gun or that. Um, you start digging through the desk. Um, as you do that, something glints and catches your eye. Okay. Um, you turn to the side and you see uh, the chair where it's been rolled back. Yeah. Uh, there's a small uh, something made of metal, very small, that's caught under one of the wheels. Huh. Okay. I'll check that out, I guess. Uh, you pull it out um, and you find a small metal medallion in the shape of the rising sun. Son of a bitch! They're all in this shit! <laughs> all of them! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fucking take that too, put it in my pocket. <laughs> Whoever investigated this room sucks. Thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll take that. Uh, oh Lord. I feel like I should drink the potion again, but I don't know. Nah, you've been doing well. What's the worst that Ish. could happen? What's the worst that could happen? She says, as I'm snooping around a mayor's office that's run by the cult of Vecna and has <laughs> different seems to be things. run by you at this point. Time, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I guess I'll go... Um, hmm. hmm. What to do? What to do? Can I... Oh no, I guess he wouldn't be smart enough to think of that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll just I'll take w one last look around. Look through all the drawers, check the bookshelves, see if there's like, like just some, like faint idea in the back of his head. Fuck it, maybe there's a secret room or something. I'll just knock <laughs> some of the books off. Pull all the books. Make an investigation check. Uh, I'm drinking the potion before I do that. <laughs> Alright. Oh. So you uncork it, again, you get that, that metal, that, that very metallic uh, smell mm. um, as you bring it up to your lips, swing it back. I um, love the taste of it. You finish the rest of it. Yep. Um, it's, it's an awful tasting thing. It feels really awkward as it's like coating, mm. just slowly moving down your throat. Love that um, taste. <laughs> it'll kind of, the sensation. Um, it kind of stops and everything goes smooth, and again, you get that warm feeling of this, like, yeah, yeah. I feel it good. It doesn't matter what I take on, I can do it. Okay, yeah, so then I, I was, yeah, like I said, I'll look through all the 
drawers, check the shelves, see if I can find any sort of like hidden passage or something. Yeah, like make that. an investigation check. Okay. Wow, I don't even need to look. Uh, 17. 17? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, you start looking around. Um, you, you travel around the room, uh, having a look. Um, don't really notice anything. You start going back to the desk again. Um, you come to the symbol you found in the back of one of the drawers. Mm-hmm. Um, this time you do notice as you slide the drawer, um, there's a line that comes off of uh, the index finger of mm-hmm. the hand, and it connects when it moves in far enough with another line, an arrow. Okay. And when you step back to look at it, it's pointing to one of the bookshelves. I'll go over to that bookshelf, okay. and then I'll, I guess, investigate that bookshelf specifically. Okay. See if I can find any more symbols or anything like that. Some sort of button or switch. Uh, make another investigation check. Yep. There we go. Do I want to lock that? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. That's nine. Nothing stands out. Uh, Damn. It's a lot of boring books. I'm just going to knock some of the books off the shelf and see if any of them stick. <laughs> okay. Um, you start slamming books around. They're pretty heavy. It's pretty full. You start pulling them out. Yeah. God, um, you do find hard. one that doesn't move. Oh, yes. I'm going to pull the book, see if it's like a lever or something. Okay. Can you grab it? doesn't move. Okay. I guess I'm going to investigate the book. Okay. Um, the title on the book is The Art of Diplomacy. The Art of Diplomacy. Does, like, the, if I go to open the book, will it open? Like, just open the cover? No? Doesn't move? Can I push it in? Uh, you try to push it in? Doesn't budge. Like, tilt it? Like, nothing? Not just move. doesn't move. It Mother. feels like a real book. It, yeah. it feels like a proper binding and, and the texture, and you can feel the pages on the top, but it does not move or open. Hmm. Just like tap on it, I guess. Is it hollow or anything like that? Feels like a book. Fuck. No book. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, I don't know what to do about this. He said it won't move, like, at all. At all. Like, there's some give to it just from the texture of, of the material, mm-hmm. but it does not move from where it is. The art of diplomacy. Please open. Like I'll just like speak to it. Like I don't know. Uh, I do. You punch it. I'm not punching it. That's not <laughs> diplomatic. Oops. Damn it. Should I roll like an intelligence check to see if I can even think of that? <laughs> of what? It's like punching. speaking to the damn thing. Like asking it to open. I thought you already did. Uh, it's. Possible, um, from what you know of like various methods to open doors, uh, the code word is a very common one. It doesn't necessarily mean this one is triggered that way. Uh, okay. And you know that the idea of cold guessing a password is pretty difficult. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, hmm, open sesame. <laughs> and just like look at it funny. Uh, no. Hmm. So the symbol pointed to it. Like, uh, it's the art of diplomacy. God damn it, I wish I was better at these sort of puzzles. Uh, I guess I'll try speaking like the god's name that the involved that the cult's involved with. Like, uh, Vecna? <laughs> no, nothing. Right finger? <laughs> art of diplomacy. God damn it. You did good. You did good. Hmm. It's okay, you can leave it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Actually, uh, I'm gonna... We need a perception check. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, I'm locking that. Oh, you fucking oh. 
Uh, if I luck roll a nat one, can I roll it with my own luck? I didn't must think so. accept the second roll. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave for now, and I'm gonna go okay. get uh, what's so, his face. Make an intelligence save. Oh no! A s- oh. Intelligence save. Yes. Kill oh Kill no! Sixteen. <laughs> Sixteen. You hear a horrible growl come from behind you. You turn around and there is a massive guard dog, just dripping, like all kinds of spittle, growling teeth, fangs bared, just slowly walking towards you. Smick, oh, hello. Sit. It's <laughs> gonna like crack my knuckles. Sit. <laughs> oh, shit. It's coming. Okay. Uh. I guess I'll make an intimidation check, I guess. I'll try to scare it off. Okay, what are you doing to scare it off? Um, is there anything, like, close to me that I can just kind of, like, books. smash? Lots of <laughs> books. Uh, you have lots of books around you. That's about it right now. No. I'm just going to pull my sword out. Okay, pull your sword out. Rips a yeah, page I'm of books. Like, hold it at it and be like, down. <laughs> make an intimidation check. Okay, please work. I only get a plus one. 18. Okay. Okay. So you pull out your sword. Down. It starts to creep forward. Stops for a second. And then lunges at you. Oh, Uh, great. What's your AC? My AC's 20. (laughs) Jeez. Four asses. I have my little book over there. You take um, Fuck four me. points of damage. Okay. Whoa, this dog's a tank. Four points it of damage. It jumps forward and just rakes you with its fangs. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Roll initiative. Yep. Oh, I have what to are fight you? the guard dog. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Kill him? Oh, no. That's so bad. I, I'm going to lock my initiative. <laughs> <laughs> That's not much better. <laughs> Stop lucking it. That's it. I'm out of luck. That's it? Yeah, that's it. You it wasted it on your but not initiative? On that one. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, whatever. I couldn't luck that in that one. It was a result of me lucking that previous roll. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't. Okay, so. Yeah, so 11. 11? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'm raging and I'm gonna stab that dog in the face. Okay. Oh my attack. god! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go horribly. Oh boy. Oh, friendly. Wow. Uh, yeah, that dog's hurting. Twenty six. Er, sorry, twenty four. Okay. Little damage. Damage. Okay. I'm gonna roll to D eight. Yeah. Easy to hit for a dog. Yeah. Um, twelve damage. Okay. Good. <laughs> Do you get ed- extra for raging? Yeah, you get two damage for rage, so that brought it up to eight, mm-hmm. and then I have plus four from strength. Okay, so you stab, um, rakes down the side of the dog, it kind of steps to the side, you can see it just kind of grazes along the edge of it, mm-hmm. sets itself again, and attacks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn, he hits Three up. damage? Three damage. So, like, what? Does that round down to one or two? What's that? It's because I'm raging. Uh, Half damage? I believe it rounds down, so one. So one, okay. Um, you, it sinks its teeth in and just shakes on you. Um, you fight through it with your rage. Um, you just find it, it. It's almost like it's just a splitting. Like It, it hurts your head, just this dog tearing into you. Mm. Okay. What are you doing? Uh... Just gonna like is he still on me or did he just kinda like bite and back off? And he's just gonna keep bites, it. rips at you, jumps back. Yeah, okay, I'm taking another slash at him. Okay. Poor dog. Well, he shouldn't have tried to kill me. <laughs> Fuck. Um like Cassie <clears> always takes the side of the thing attacking us. Uh twelve does not hit. Oh, you box. swing forward, it ducks out of the way. Damn. Yep. Did you get me again? Holy I shit. I just care about you everyone. take six points of damage. So three. Fuck. It might actually kill you. 
Okay, yeah. well, we can only hope. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you gonna reckless attack him? Okay. Oh. Wow, fuck you, dice. Uh, 14. 14? No. Really? Dodges out of the way as you He's swing. Get just you. recklessly put everything into it. Um, now he gets advantage. Yeah. How Yay. How are you looking? Me, I'm pretty good. Yeah. He's not even hurt. Wow. You take another six points of damage. Jeez. I think so that's three. This thing would have killed me already. <laughs> You also would have killed it already with your So my turn then? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Same thing, reckless attack. What if I miss? That's better. Twenty, not natural. Yeah, hits, full damage. Okie dokie. Mm, same damage, twelve. Okay. You swing at a you swing around at it, just recklessly going for it. It manages to twist enough out of the way that you catch with the fly, knocks it to the side, gets back up, mm -hmm. growls, comes forward again. Okay. Yeah. Man, this thing is just ridiculous. Three points of damage. Fucking hell. <laughs> Draw blood. <laughs> okay, same thing as usual. Miss. Fuck off. No, 20 <laughs> not natural again. Okay, hits. Fuck you, dice. Um, seven damage. That's the lowest damage you can do is seven. Two from range, four from this. Sorry, That's how much seven. damage? Seven. Okay. Um, you stab forward, um, darts to the side, but you catch it. You see a, a small spray of blood as you j open up just uh, some of the surface flesh. Um, you, it just lowers itself, growls viciously. You can see the spittle just going up to the side and uh, dripping down the muzzle. It oh. forward at you again. Okay. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> You're giving an advantage. Yeah, I know. You take one point of damage. So, yeah, one, because yep. it doesn't round lower you than one. cannot go lower than one. Yep. Okay. Fuck you, dog. I'm going to kill you. Okay. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, hits. Okay. Max. So... 14 damage. Okay. Um, you give everything you got, you swing into it. Um, it gets underneath, you just take the top of its ear off. <laughs> um, ducks underneath, lunges forward in the opening, just doesn't even take register that you hit it. Oh my gosh. Close dog. This thing has a lot of fucking. Yeah. So do you. <laughs> One. One? It's a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> it's <raging. laughs> Natural 20. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you, dog. Chewing on me. Wow. My life sucks. Uh, 11. Okay, oh, as it pulls away from you, uh, you swing down, back. Uh, rake the side of it. Again, you see blood splatter down onto the carpet. Mm -hmm. um, it just keeps coming. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing is just... Raging and wild. It's it's not paying attention to the, anything you do to it. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits. That definitely hits. Four damage. Four damage. What percentage is your hit points at? What percentage is my hit yeah. points at? Dude, um, it's nine. I'm not sure. Hi. Give me what Whoa. are your hit points in your total? Fifty nine, and I'm at forty three. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just gonna keep trying to kill him. That's a good the tactic. Fucking thing won't good leave me tactic. alone. Like, what am I fucking supposed to do? Is there anything like unusual about this dog? Like, is besides the fact that it's a frothing at the mouth, it big ass, feel angry <laughs> dog? <laughs> uh, make an intelligence check. Oh god. Hey. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, there's something off about this dog. Uh, you have fought a lot of things. You felt your blade hit a lot of things. Even though it, it, you're feeling the impact, some of the impact just doesn't feel right. And same with when it's biting you. It, it, you don't feel that same pain that you're familiar with from all your years of fighting. 
Um, it, it, do, it almost doesn't feel like the pain is at the location it's biting you. It almost feels like it's giving you a horrible headache. Okay. Um, as you're kind of contemplating this and looking at it, you can almost see through it. Oh, wow, okay. And it fizzles. What? I just had to stop fighting the damn thing. Um, no, I just drank an invisibility potion. <laughs> <laughs> invisibility froth. <laughs> I'm just gonna just kind of like brush myself off, examine the tears that I'm gonna have to stitch. Nothing. Uh, there's nothing. Nothing. What? How is that bugging on you? Your head hurts. Stop drinking metal. <laughs> <laughs> Matter than a hatter. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there for a second and just be like, what on earth wow. is that? I'm gonna go take a look at the book again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's, ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> Dr. Mm. Doctor, it hurts when I do this. <laughs> Ow! Stop doing that. <laughs> <sighs> and it just won't move, right? Exactly as it was before. Cool. Now do I turn around to a fucking Mastiff again? Can you turn around? Why did it point to the fucking bookshelf? So it says the art of the poem. Is there anything else about this goddamn book? <laughs> or the shelf? This is driving me nuts. Make an investigation check. Oh. Go ahead back to the book. <laughs> <laughs> like, it didn't even happen. 14. Uh, no, nothing stands out. Fuck me. I mean, it's, it's kind of strange. The book doesn't move. Leave it! Fine. Let's get away. Leave the room. You gave up when you found his symbol, but this book is like... It won't move. <laughs> and it's... Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go check on Gala and see how he's doing with his repairs. Okay. Uh, Isn't it great when you decide not to bring the magic user to this place? <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't take you. Make, uh, make two engineering checks for me. Don't blow up this kitchen. Oh Whoa. no, you blew up the Whoa. kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just like they're just wailing on it with a pipe wrench. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, 10 and 16. Uh, 10 and 16. Uh, yeah, it's it's not terribly hard work for you. It's it's a little annoying. The, the first little while, you're actually making negative progress, kind of pulling stuff apart and like figuring out how exactly this one works. Um, but eventually, you come to a point where you're like, OK, I, I got this. And, um, you clean out one section of pipe that um, was ob obviously had a lot of buildup from uh, the various greases and, and things that are up in the air here. Um, you clean it out. Um, you're pretty sure this will f uh, correct the uh, the flow of pressure. Um, start putting it all back together. Um, get it all together, and you're just kind of cleaning yourself off when uh, Finley shows up at the kitchen door. Oh, Gala. Um... I have need of your assistance. Um, yeah, I'm just finishing up here anyway. Yeah, well, finish what you need to. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, come. Well, yeah, lead point. him up to the, the mayor's office. Okay. You guys go up the stairs, back around through the waiting room in the mayor's office. Yeah, I'll show him the, uh, the like the symbol in the drawer and the arrow pointing to the shelf. Tell him both the book that will move. You can see it's very, very finely appointed office, very large, uh, rich office. Um, it's a mess. There's burdens on the carpet, there's, you know, stuff broken, books all over the floor. Um, obviously there's been some sort of struggle in this room. Um, he leads you through the room towards the desk. Show him the symbol and then I'll point out the book that doesn't move. <laughs> it's very odd, there's like two whole shelves of books that are off and just one. It, it, it won't move. Isn't, I don't know what's wrong with it. Also, it was attacked by some sort of dog, but it just... It, it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just vanished. I watched it go... Whoosh, disappeared. 
<laughs> Roll for disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't. You're not really marked. You're just I know. knocked away, or I was fighting it the whole time, but it's, it's extraordinarily weird. I'm going to need uh, some time to reflect on that later. But mm. yeah, no, weirdest thing I've ever encountered in my life. Right. But yes, book won't move. Symbol in the desk. Uh, also. Is there anything you can tell me about these burn marks on the ground? Have you ever seen anything caused by that? You're an engineer. I assume you work with flammable things. Let's go get us in <laughs> 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 well, I know a lot of things that can burn floor. Well, I was wondering if you might be able to tell me what might have done this. Fire. <sighs> Never mind. Thank you, but... Take no. a look at the drawer, see if it's pointing into a more direct location than just the bookshelf or if it's it's kind of tough to tell because it's oriented in the desk mm -hmm. itself so the arrow points up technically mm -hmm. on this angle um but standing back and looking at at it it's pointing at that bookshelf mm -hmm. but yes i can't get this book to move and i thought perhaps you'd have an idea mm -hmm. of what to do perhaps there's a mechanism in the shelf that i have no concept of Check around the edge of the bookshelf. Okay. Make a. We'll call it an engineering check. Uh, come cool. on. Cool. Um, as you're kind of feeling around, um, a very finely crafted uh, shelf, uh, made of wood, not really what you work with, but you can appreciate the craftsmanship that went into it. Um, pretty much seamless, except at one spot, you catch the edge of the seam. And as you're kind of inspecting and looking around, like, this probably moves. It's a, uh, uh, I don't know if, it's a, if this is a hinge or if it slides, but uh, let's see if we can draw our backs into the kitchen a little bit. Okay. Give it a tuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be great because it's not going to go anywhere. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll try and uh, move the door. Is it? Like right up into a corner? Is it the whole wall? So, all of these bookshelves are like floor to ceiling. Um, there's uh, five wide across this area. This is the second one. Okay. Great. Can you tell if it swings or if it uh, well, slides? Not very well. Gonna slide. So they're all like right up against each other, right? Yeah. One of us. Yeah. Also, uh, I might just be me, but it, the book, if you read the title, mm -hmm. I thought that might have something to do with it, but I'm not, a diplomacy. not very good at these puzzles. Mm. It's quite frustrating. Uh, I, I've never been the most diplomatic person. Have you asked it to open? Would you please open? See? Mm. No. Is anything in the mayor's desk or any of the please, other... Uh, please let me through. See? Nothing. Any of the other books maybe giving you a hint to this? Uh, I didn't really think to check any of them. And they're all in a pile on the floor now. <laughs> but they all move. All right. This one doesn't. Oh. We, I'm um, at the art brute force. Let's give it a tug. We could try. Uh, I guess we'll try and move said shelf. Oh, just grab it and try to pull? I guess, yeah. Okay. Uh, one of you, uh, whoever's leading the effort, make an athletics check with advantage. Who do you think that would be? Well, you can lead, doesn't matter me. Alright. Athletics. You're lucky. Do I have proficiency in athletics? So if you roll two ones, yeah. Hang on, I can't see with this portion of the way. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, 23? 23? Mm -hmm. You guys grab on. Eve! Doesn't budge. This thing moves. Let me tell you that. Just, I don't know how it's locked. Neither do I. I'm not uh, good at this sort of thing. Maybe we can break it down, but that would be a lot of noise, and I'm sure that... Um, Destroy the office. Yes, I'm sure a lot of the staff here would not like that very much. Probably not. 
probably raise a lot of suspicion. I'm sure me knocking the books on the floor alone is suspicious enough. Might want to start piling that up. Uh, perhaps. Uh, I'm not going to put them on the shelf, per, like all in that one spot. We'll put them kind of away from that book so we don't lose track of it. Okay. Um, Anything else you found in here other than a fun oh, book? Yes. I found this. <laughs> Show him the broken sword that I found on the balcony. He's like, and this? And still the dagger, and yeah. then I'll pull up the, the Rising Sun <laughs> medallion. Uh, Alright. Make a dex check. Oh, no, I'm gonna nick myself. <laughs> oh, 12. Okay, make a con save. Oh, no! Oh, it's a poison dagger. <gasps> Oh, okay. Uh, 24. Okay. Sorry, 26. No, 24. He shows you different items in town. Ouch. That's, uh, that's a lot that went on here, then. It seems so. I really, really want to get behind this door. But I can't figure it out. Take a look through the desk, see if I could find anything that might lead to a password, though I imagine it's probably just something the mayor knows. Uh, make an investigation check. Please find his diary. Oh, please. Five. Oh. Nothing stands out. It's just a bunch of business papers. Mm. What was the mayor's name? I don't remember. Cletus. Crumby. Cletus. I don't know that you ever got his name. Fuck. I don't know. But, uh. Angus. <laughs> Angus. Did we ever get his name? Was it on the flyer? No? Nope. Just the mayor's been killed? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go get Gerard. <laughs> what? Okay! What? Cool. Should I be here or. I uh, you're done with the uh, thing, yes? Yeah, uh, pretty much. Uh, um, I guess. Just, we'll just say you needed to ask him where else to work. Uh, what else needed repair? Right. Simple as that. And I'm going to make him open this, hopefully. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, so yeah. bad. Lead on, then, uh, boss. Where are you looking for? Um, shit, where would I look from? He, he wouldn't be in the corridors, he'd be muttering about doing his shit. Uh, I guess I could check the, the one of the uh, lounges or something. But That's where he's doing his work? No. Well, so I imagine him crying in his room. <laughs> Why did I pick this profession? <laughs> um... I have no idea where to actually start looking for him. Um, I guess I'll check uh, the other office or something with all the paperwork. Okay. But I, I don't know for sure. So you go downstairs, open up the office. It's not there. Yeah. I'm just gonna call out loud for Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Okay. You wait. Damn it. Yeah. He hates okay. you. Why is he gonna come running? <laughs> Cause I'm his boss. <laughs> <laughs> as far as he knows. Um, I guess I could uh, check the kitchen and then the dining hall if he's not there. You should he's knock on the front door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that'd be great. I'm just saying. You check the kitchen, they're busy at work. Yeah. Uh, check the dining hall, nobody in there. Yeah. Would he be in the office right by the front door, maybe? That was the office that you checked. That's the office that I checked. I'm going to try her idea. That's hilarious. Okay. See if it works. I'm just gonna knock on the front door. You open up the door, knock on it. Um, after a few moments, you can see him walking down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so that's how I get to hold of you. Should have brought Nadia. He gets down, starts walking towards, sees you. Oh, what did you need? Um, where were you? I needed to get a hold of you. I was in my quarters. Yeah, of course. Should have assumed. <sighs> Keeping to yourself. Summoning things. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, is there anything else that he needs to repair? He's finished his work in the kitchen. 
Oh, that should be all. Okay, good. Um, Gala, I suppose you can see if there's anything the you can have for yourself in the kitchen. Perhaps I'll make you a quick meal. Then you can see yourself home if you need. All right, done. Um, you come with me. Of course. <laughs> So oh, you ways. found my dig. <laughs> 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 and I'll bring him back to the man's office and be like, what can you tell he me about this? I'm going to point to the bookshelf. I'm not sure I understand the question, sir. This is a door. <laughs> it appears to be a bookshelf. Yes, well, thank you. I can tell that it appears to be a bookshelf, but I've checked it out a bit further, and it also appears to be a door. <laughs> Interesting. Well, then how do you open it? I was hoping you could tell me that. A good butler should know all the secret entrances and passageways throughout the estate he works Very in. Very sorry, sir, but I'm unaware as to how to open the bookshelf. <laughs> hmm. He just gets bludgeoned by Finley. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not gonna him. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Would you mind uh, pulling on that book there? Perhaps it's a lever. I it hasn't moved for me. Perhaps it will move for one of you. As you wish. Goes over. <laughs> it appears to be stuck, sir. Hmm. Very well. Return to your quarters. Do whatever it is you intend to do for the rest of the evening. As you will, sir. Yes. I'm just going to be like, oh. <laughs> Well, that went terribly. God damn, this bookshelf's going to make me so mad. <laughs> Forever. It hasn't already. Oh, it's making me even more mad. Give it we're, up! We're all gonna have to leave and come back again with Gedrick. Oh, now it's Gedrick needs to go. Oh, do you want to punch the bookshelf? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why don't you use your detect map? Oh. Um. oh. Okay. I'll go get um, Evander. <laughs> Avender. 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 Lavender. Lavender. <laughs> Um, Good times. Okay, as you go to leave, um, you uh, leave through the waiting room, uh, head towards the stairs. At that moment, Ivan comes up the stairs. I, um, I had a thought. Let's go try it. Okay. Starts walking. All Back right. in the mayor's office. Let's... I thought you'd be long gone by now. Um, all right, let's go try this out. Yeah, I was, I was heading out, and, uh, you know, I was thinking about this. I think I figured it out. So, do I notice anything weird about this Ivan fellow? Make a perception check. Oh, great. I'm so good at perception! So good! Thirteen. <laughs> Looks like Ivan. All yes. right. The appropriate metal appendages. Okay. <laughs> the same scarring. Is it on the right side? Yeah. Damn it. All right, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just follow no him in. You know, it's not something physical. Like, why would they use something that's a mechanical um, like device? They wouldn't use a mechanical device. So okay. I was thinking, and he starts moving his hands. Moving his hands. Yeah, he starts moving them in a, a patterned way. Touches it. There's this pulse of energy that you can feel. You hear a click, and then it slides, starts sliding in, and slides to the side. And you see this very uh, finely crafted uh, stone passageway. It goes in a little bit, and then goes downstairs. Aha! Told you. Fancy that. Let's uh, let's go check it out. Would I be aware of Ivan never using his magic or anything like that, or doing weird hand motions, or would I even be able to tell this is magic? He's he just used didn't. light. He's talked about using magic before. Has he? You just saw it. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'll come. You've known us for three days. Of course he knows magic. I guess I'm following him. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> um, you guys go down. 
the stairs go on for a really long way. Keep going. He's like, oh, um, one second. Um, yes? He conjures a light onto um, a coin that he has in his hand. Alright, that should help. Okay. That's quite handy. Walking down. Goes down, keeps <coughs> going. Keeps going. I'm keeps going. <laughs> comes to the end. And uh, it comes to the landing. And it turns and there's a, a stone hallway going back under the house. Walk on. Wow. It's uh, quite the undertaking. Indeed. Hey, not my thing. I don't work with stone, but impressive. Very much so. Um, this is just like one direct passage. It keeps going. Okay. Shall we go? He's he's talking to you as he's walking. Oh, he's just walking. Okay. I'll just follow he's behind walking him. walking beside you. Oh. Okay. He's walking. You come to uh, this one point, and you see uh, these large steel double doors. This is rather extravagant. Oh. Give right, me tricks well, uh, for opening them. <laughs> or do you think it just opens? Just try the door. I suppose. Just give it a go. Yeah. Over up. Just go and grab the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, you grab the door. Uh, you pull and it uh, pushes. Uh. You push it in. Uh, you hear it open. Uh, opens up. Uh, the room is dark. You can see the light from this coin just kind of spilling through the doorway where it gets through. Um, looks like a, a large chamber. Um, seems fairly empty. It's tough to tell everything, all the details as it kind of fades into darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like after you, you have the light. All right. Walks in. Follow me. Yep. Okay. As you walk into the room, the light goes out. Oh shit. And the door slams shut. No, Finley. Oh dear. And that'll be tonight. No. <laughs> Same spot. <laughs> no. Each of you is gonna get abducted if you keep going on your own. I've oh, done I'm it. Die. It's your table turn. Apologies to the bakery squad. You can raid the pastries next time and let him sit in the dark. It's such a cool moment that you guys are waiting It's gonna be a long before. week of just smelling oh, this such carcass. Such a cool moment I'd set up. Oh man, I was just, you're like, yeah, so Ivan comes, comes up the stairs. I was like, what? what? <laughs> what do you mean I can come up the stairs? And he's like, oh yay, Ivan. <laughs> just kidding, we like, you know, Aaron's like, heart attack, heart attack, okay, heart attack. I know attack. you guys are looking heart for attack. ideas. Here's the entire thing. This is who killed the mayor. It's like, this bakery is so great. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die in the darkness yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also will, you know, never be seen again. And we won't care. Well, guys, we next week it. I'll have a new character written up. <laughs> yeah, Jerry. <laughs> yes. oh, oh man, I bet you it's him too. It's so him. <laughs> Why would you it guys, be him? So? I like how you're like, he's so rude to me, and yet you called him Jerry, the whole guy. <laughs> yeah, you were just yeah. petty. I was being oh a dick. My God. Was he wasn't even mean. <laughs> no, he wasn't mean. He was salty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I am gonna treat him like just a piece of dirt. I'm gonna treat him like a half breed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, okay. You showed him a little respect. No chill. Wow. No chill. Wow. wow. This is why we don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't like me. I speak for us all. <laughs> you don't. I was just trying to play yeah, the part of the guy who replaced him. <laughs> all right. Um. So yeah, uh, join us next week. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens with it. Um, hopefully, the party will, will yeah. finally crack this mystery. Fuck off. Um, oh, although it, you never know, it could be one of those like like episodes where it's like Finley goes down there, and then it's our episode, and then next week, look <laughs> after when we find out about Oh sure. fuck off! <laughs> Make him sit on it for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. It's... But you guys get captured, and then you have to sit on that. That's fine. It entirely could be. Um, we will see how everybody reacts to this. Um, yeah, so thank you to everybody who joined us. Absolutely, Dan, Dan, yeah, thank Frog, you. everyone else. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I know Frog was sending me some messages, like look us up on, on Discord, uh, Wizard, if you want to link it in there. Um, that's the easiest way to reach us at all times. Uh, pops right up on our phones, so we just, we'll always respond. Anything you want to talk about, in the general chat, or otherwise. The clockwork and constructs chat itself. Yep. Um, 
On that note, uh, for anybody who watches our Thursday Night Dysfunctional Party, uh, we are taking suggestions for games. Mm. Uh, can't promise that all of them. It's been a big week for finishing games. We finished Undertale. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys finished Final Fantasy. So. I, can't, I can't promise that all of the suggestions will be used. But they will all be considered? Um, they will all that. be considered. Um, they might not be used right away, even. We might use them further on down the line. Uh, but we'd love to hear from you guys what you want us to display. Um, we'll have a game next week. That being said, we do, I thought about this, and throw it out there, we do name all our episodes for CNC. Go on to the Discord, and just the CNC chat, and give us suggestions. Again, not sure if we use them or not, right? Come on, because this one's going to be anything other than either Jerry or the Art of Diplomacy. Yeah, yeah Art of Diplomacy. I'm pretty sure the Art of Diplomacy. It, I, it's a good one, but like, I want to see what you mean, people want to say. You guys said, no problems, we're going to use them, but I mean, yeah. let's see what you guys got for ideas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, just call it Finley. <laughs> Finley McCool. Finley. Finley. <laughs> yeah. Two ends. Finn. Um, otherwise, all of our usual nights, Tuesday, no control. Uh, Penumbra. Hopefully work won't get in the way of this one. <laughs> um, but I, I work in the morning this week, so I'll be good for it. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, get us some more follows. We're 14 away now, I think, yeah. from the, uh, the all day stream. All day stream. And then, uh, you can check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and the website. Yep. You know, we have a lot of places where you can find us and information on us. Yeah. yeah, and uh, one more shout out to Miss V. Um, if you're out there, uh, thank you so much for the letter. You, you don't understand how much we appreciate it. It was it was it's really great. awesome to get. Yeah, that's that's incredible. So uh, thank you so much, um, and thanks to everybody who joins us every night and you know talks to us or, or watches and enjoys the things we do. That's why we do it. Um, otherwise. Have a good night, people. Have a good weekend, guys. Why did you say it like that? Night. Good. Finley. Finley. I love it.